Curry, it's cute. What the fuck is going on? My dice. It's. It's. Kimi wa suda ni shinderu. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers make their way to the Brook Bond Forest, where the town of Nasal is currently under attack by horrible demons. The town's soldiers make a valiant stand against the vile creatures, but they are quickly losing ground. The walls of Nasal cannot hold much longer. If our courageous comrades can't make it there soon, I'm afraid Nasal will be reduced to rubble. Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home. So, you guys are standing on top of a mountain right now, gazing over the horizon. In the distance, you see the town with smoke rising from it. It's about a days and a half travel to get there. Uh, currently, the uh, terrain that you see before you, the landscape, uh, you have maybe about a day's travel worth of traveling along like these kind of hilly plains that you've been traveling across. Uh, you see like tall rocks here and there, like almost like small like mesas, I guess, um, kind of scattered across. Um, just very rocky terrain mixed with like green hill lands. Um, and then after that is what appears to be a very dense and lush forest. Um, also standing on top of this mountain, I guess you sh would actually be able to see uh, quite a like wide river uh, that does flow into Anamnesis. Um, you probably wouldn't be able to see it yet, but you would know uh, farther north of you is a sea roughly 60 miles like across um yeah okay so that doesn't line perfectly actually you guys would know that you are close to fimbleton oh about a oh. about a couple days travel i guess so not super close but you've kind of made a triangle where yeah. you guys are going so you are we north of angle. yeah you, you're currently like almost directly north of Fimbleton. Damn. Um. Oh, man. Oh, all right. So uh, it is late morning right now, so you guys can continue traveling. You are on top of the mountain. Is there anything else you would like to do before descending? Not really, no. How's everyone injury wise? Untouched. Wait, Untouched. No, okay, there you go. I lost five hit points. I'm very bad. Mm. Scraping my arm. I would actually like to turn back toward the Nemesis mm -hmm. and see if I can see the rift from where we are. You definitely can, since you are high above on this mountain. You can see the rift. It looks almost exactly the same as it was before. Um, you would see... It, it. I guess like I've described it before, it just kind of looks like a shattered mirror mm -hmm. just in reality, yeah. just floating. It is gargantuan in size um, yeah. on like a cosmic scale, I guess. It is huge. Um, you know that it, it has its own region around it, which is that massive crater. Mm -hmm. um, and and um, region uh, scale is like 60 miles. So technically it's like its own region. Um, there are the mountains that surround the crater and then just above it is just this. Is it like looks the same as it's always looked. Mm -hmm. okay. Even though the massive hand of the red being kind of like out of it, yeah. and then it was it just went back. It went back to exactly what it was. And I've been assuming that the arm is not visible. Like it fell into the mountains. It that... fell into the crater. Okay. You're not too sure how deep it goes, but from yeah. where you are staying, you can't really peer into the crater. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to climb over the, the, the mountains of the hold. I'm just like, I'll that shit for a second. Yeah, it's pretty big. I'm just gonna, I'm like, at it. 
That's it. Mm-hmm. I was just wondering. Yeah. All right. So to descend the mountain, uh, you guys are gonna have to make some athletics checks. It's Sorry. not as it's not as bad as climbing up, but you still have to be careful yeah. climbing down. Am I still able to use my acrobatics? Is that due to I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. Shit? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, here we go. Time to descend, everybody. Ooh, that was party, everybody. a really good roll for him. Oh, that's crazy. On the plus oh. side, if you fail at the top, you're gonna get that one. Acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so right about that one. Fifteen. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-two. Kate. Nine. Oh, 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 no! No! Oh, Sing with me. Uh, I'm really good at climbing up, not. Yeah. And really Ambrose got a twenty-one, so he's what doing pretty fuck? good. Uh, all right, so all of you. Uh, start descending the mountain, carefully climbing down. Um, all of you get it maybe about a third of the way down before Ornan, you go and like uh, put your foot on a piece of rock that you think is sturdy, you kind of test it for a bit. And as you put your weight on it, immediately it just poof. Um, so you can go ahead and make a deck saving throw to try to save yourself from falling. 16. That saves, so um, we'll say you take you take three points of bludgeoning damage as you like slide down the mountain and you just kind of hit a bit of rock um, before you're able to grab onto a ledge and save yourself from falling nice. all the way down. So you're a bit hurt by that, but you've caught yourself. Everyone kind of like looks down at you and just like oh, freeze up for a second, just like and then realize the mountain, you're like, fine. Like, Mikhail just <laughs> just looking up, I'm like. I you good? Take a small pebble and just at the cow. Who is above you? Yeah, I throw it. <laughs> okay, basket. Yeah, <laughs> it, just, it, just, <laughs> it just arcs. You okay. guys. <laughs> All right, you guys can make one more athletics check or acrobatics as you're climbing down. No, it's not good. That's not good. That's so much better. Nineteen. Very good. Ten. Uh, Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine. Three. Cocaine. I'm slipping. Uh-oh. Slipping <laughs> down the party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rolls, numbers. I got three. Wonderful. Okay. Twenty-two. Ten. All right, so uh, you three, uh, Ornan, Macau, and Ambrose, um, are doing really well climbing down. Um, even though Ambrose had a really tough time climbing up, he's yeah. doing a lot better now, being a lot more careful. Um, Ornan, after you slip up, you um, really test out all the rocks going down. Uh, Dara and, uh, Dara, are you still a ram? No. Okay. <laughs> no, they going. don't explode it. That's right. <laughs> right, fine. Um, okay, Eve and Dara, as you guys are uh, climbing down, you hit a patch of like the really loose like shale rock oh. and just immediately start sliding down. Oh. It's it's a Ste- lot less steeper now, but oh, you're just <laughs> falling down with all this like shale rock around you. Uh, so you guys are gonna take damage, but you can go ahead and make a deck saving throw to try to keep yourself on the mountain. Oh yeah, yeah deck saving throw. Wow, that is terrible dice oh, rolls. Well, you guys both take two points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. That's not bad. It's okay. not bad. This is a little rock. Well, that's really okay. I'm going to fall down the rest of the mountain and take the rest of the damage. You got that's a seven. Oh, ten. Ten? I ten does not one. save. Oh. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to fall down the rest of the way. Oh. Yeah. Just yeah. covered in this shell rock. Just keeps <laughs> it. Beating your body, to the um, you take another seven points of bludgeoning damage as you Jesus. <laughs> tumble all the way down the mountain. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have another ball. Is that another seven? Yes. Yeah. Damn. So, um, the rest of you guys would finally make it down the mountain. You guys kind of pick yourself up from this uh, fucking. Uh, oh my god! Why did I lose the word? Um, mountain uh, debris. 
Uh, Avalanche, Jesus. <laughs> Avalanche. <laughs> Avalanche. Um, yeah, covered in the shale rock. You pick yourself up. You're covered in dirt and dust now and rocks. You got a whole bunch of like rocks in your shoe now, too. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. How many HP are you missing? Uh, I'm at 27. Out of 41. How do you have so many HP? <laughs> Constitution. Uh, yeah. I got plus four. Mirage's constitution is insane. Uh, yes. My eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, 27 out of 41. Well, I was going to heal myself. <laughs> I'm going to use my uh, channel divinity to restore 14 HP to you. Damn. <sighs> yeah, thank you. And one to myself. Very good. Oh, that brings me some mats. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right, thank you. Y'all. Okay. Nice little shit. <laughs> just shaking all the gravel out of my boots. Nice. My greatest enemy are fucking rocks. Yeah. You good? Yeah, you both are. You both are right? Okay. I will. It's fine. It's very good. Yeah. Where are you at? I'm fine. Out of. Great. I'm fine. Fine out of great. Fine out of superb. Go superb, great. Yeah, if if things Decent. get dicey, I've got enough healing in my ass. Fine, concerning death. <laughs> Storm potion I can give you. Oh, I, I have plenty. I've got spells available and maybe a healing potion. That's a lie. I don't have a healing potion, but well, those are limited. Do I? Spell no. magic is. No, I think not. Only a limited per day. Still have the fucking silver ticket for Lothmanger! <laughs> Some fucking bullshit! You had to remind me. Shit. I was looking to see if I had enough potions. I have three of them. So if anyone needs Yippee. one. <laughs> Health potions are, in my opinion, a rare commodity, so they should yeah. not be used in instances like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. We also don't make enough money. No. Well, I mean, we can I mean, like right now. Yeah, like but... right now, but how long is that gonna last us? Yeah. Keith doesn't like to give up money. Yeah. No, Keith doesn't like us. It's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this man. <laughs> Help us. Help me, please. It's that guy in the parking lot. Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> All right. Help! So. Uh, you guys continue on, and in this whole area, there is really nothing here, so it's a relatively safe passage, um, until you guys have to stop and take a long rest. So, is there anything you want to do on your travels, or you just keep going? I think we're just gonna keep going. Okay. What do, what happened My to you? Wonderful. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Don't have to stop. 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 <laughs> you guys continue traveling for the rest of the day. Yeah. And the sun begins to wane and light begins to fade away from the biosphere. So, you guys want to set up camp or what are you doing? Yeah. Yes, I, I think setting up camp is definitely the right idea. Mm-hmm. You're cooking? Cook. Very good. Okay. Roll survival check. Oh, fuck. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Unnatural 20. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your time spent in Igis and hunting meat and cooking it is actually one of your specialties. And today um, you were able to light a very nice fire and start roasting some of the meat Listen, that you have. Smells really good. It's not like the dragon steak that you all had, but still pretty damn good. I'm learning. <laughs> okay. We got one day left for that until we're out of meat, so I'm okay. just trying to use it up. Right. To prolong our rations mm-hmm. and your spell slots. Yeah. Sounds peachy. Or Macau before. has uh, five days of rations. Yep. I have. I have a good berry. Yes, when, I know, but did you not hear that I was saying that I was trying to preserve rations and spell slots? 
Can you believe they love each other? That's crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ornan makes you guys food so you can mark off your rations for that. Um, I did. Yeah. All right, so night is coming to a close. What are you guys doing? Multiple dire wolves. It is time. <laughs> it is time for runes. Fuck is this? Oh, found it. Ale. Oh, it's that one. I need to look this one up. Hold on, I can do better. Oh, oh, now it's not in the box. Does it count? Hold on, I can do one better. Stop touching my dice. <laughs> you're, you're cursing them right now. Do you see what the fuck you're doing? Do you see what the fuck you're doing to me? Koi! Koi! It's about fucking time. Koi. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Dara, you take out this rune. How do you want to cast it? Wonderful. You hold out this rune. It glows that runic blue glow. And all of a sudden you just hear. <laughs> you cast Tiny Hut around you. <gasps> oh, Tiny Hut! <laughs> That's so cute. It is a third level spell in a oh, cool. 10 foot radius immobile dome of force springs into existence around you and above you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends if you leave its area. Nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside of the dome with you. The spell fails if it is if its area includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures. Creatures and objects within the dome when you cast a spell can move through it freely. All the creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry regardless of the weather outside. Yeah, Until the spell ends, funny. you can command the interior to become dimly lit or dark. The dome is opaque from the outside of any color you choose, but it is transparent from the inside. Isn't that one that Kieran had? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that's that spell. I fucking awesome. love that spell. Yeah. I think that that's a good one. one. Mm -hmm. A lot of very beautiful things. Casts tiny house. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I guess I'm just, I, I summon a tiny hut and I look at all of you like, well, huh. I guess I'm in a hut so none of you can see. Yeah, we can't see you. Is your, huh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey. It's a hut. That is kind of a sphere. Orb. That's great. It's drying here. What? Okay. What's the oh, what, what's the gimmick? <laughs> what's the purpose? I used a room. Ah. Oh. And it just kind of appeared. So you got the half sphere now? Yeah. What? Got the little home? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Are you able to use it can, at any time, or is it just can, like the one can time? Can leave it? Yes. Can, what, the, what, what she said. I can use it a couple of times per day. Oh, wow. Great. I can use three runes per day. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Wow. 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 You can really 
I oh, okay. I yeah. Quite a few safe. So hey, we can we can like be safe and shit. Yes. Yo. Do we, do we want to use that? Yo. I mean, it's already used. It's already. Yeah. yeah. Sick. Can we hot. can we enter? Yes. I'll get a full night's sleep. Rev seeker hot. Rev seeker. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna just able to walk in, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Sick. Can you like um, see in there? Yeah, it's transparent. Well. From the inside? Yes. How many fingers am I holding up? Really? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Either he can actually see or he's really good. <laughs> So just make my way inside. I mean, how many? Fi- how many? How many? I'm just gonna step. I can count head. three metal fingers. You can see. You guys can come inside. Okay. Yeah. I go inside. Yeah. Get just like mosey on over. I go inside. I'll I'll like walk over to him and like stick my hand through it. I just <laughs> stick my head. Hello. Really. This is crazy. <laughs> we have the same idea. I great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you can see through it. That's crazy. Oh yeah, it is. Are you able to like there. can like mm, like if you were to like cast this around us like during combat, are we able to like throw things outside of it? I do not believe so. All other creatures. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. 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 The answer is yes. No, the answer is yes. <laughs> creatures and objects within this dome can, when you cast this spell, can move through it freely. Yep. So yeah, once you throw something out, it doesn't come back in though. Yep. <laughs> the rock dart. Fuck! I just tried to get it to come back. Okay, cool. And anyway, we got a couple. sick in. camping spot now. So if it rains, we're like good. Yeah, that's nice. Equipment. Yeah. That's so nice. Now, as long as I don't use my rune successively throughout the day, I can cast this every night. Sick! Okay, cool. That's really nice, but also sometimes sleeping outside is also very nice. I mean, technically, like, with, like, the transparency of, like, the dome and everything, I've got a whole bag good. of other shit. I don't know what's in here. I'll uh, set up shop and I'll start cleaning my, my gauntlets. Because they're probably very dirty. Very good. <laughs> I don't think I ever cleaned them after I turned that guy to mist. Probably not. The poacher, so I will start cleaning them. <laughs> so, um, as you guys all come into the, the hut and start making like your little spots uh, to sleep, Ambrose would finish up that boot for you, Mirage, and just like, without even looking up, Ooh. just like hands you the boot. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. The Ooh. master has been at work. Oh. Ambrose. Come on, try him on. Let's go. Come on, fashion show! Yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go, catwalk! Just stick on my leg and just... Yeah. <laughs> okay! Work it! Yes! Uh, I just I get one on really quickly. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay! Come on, I come see. on, come on! Give us a spin! Come on, stand up! I, I do. Come. Just walk around in them, and without even trying, I nail the catwalk. Because I'm just like trying to walk around in them. Yeah! <laughs> I just... Okay. Did I do something? Exquisite oh. work on both ends. Oh. Oh. Great job working them. Great job making them. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ambrose. These are... These are... Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. They're comfy and they... They... They fit everything I'm wearing. That's good. You... <laughs> You certainly got an eye for people, Ambrose. I try. We've been together for almost a month now, so I mean, I feel like I should know. You know. If they need any adjustments, just let me know. <laughs> I think they'll be fine. I'll, I'll try not to scuff them on mountains. I mean, if you do, it's fine. They're meant for adventuring and traveling. Yeah. So they're going to get messed up regardless. If those were supposed to be for a party or nobility, they wouldn't look like that. And they'd probably be far less comfortable, too. Much fancier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I love 
<sighs> Don't let him get too far into it, though, or you're going to end up like me. And just gesture to the fucking little vest thing that I have on. Yeah. So, what's the problem with the vest? That's a nice one. I'm confused. This is not necessary. Or restrictive. Hey. Yeah. The boning is flexible, so that's nice. <laughs> You've corrupted me. I know. Yeah, you really have been. Well done. I try. Good job. Just <laughs> <laughs> cleaning blood off of Your thing the- looks nice, but no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your little thingy. Mm-hmm. It looks nice. <sighs> How are the mega gloves? What? How are the mega gloves? Uh, I'm clearly working on them. Well, I'm cleaning them. They're, they're, look at this versus this. What did you do with that one? Well, this one I've cleaned. <laughs> And this one, I have not. In how oh, uh, since no, 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 I already know actually, yeah, yeah, not once. <laughs> you pulverized so many people, Macau. Correct. I can't imagine the smell. <laughs> I think it's best you just leave those on for now. I just <sighs> my great accent, like. Oh, you, can't smell, you can't smell the excess oh. iron and... Well, no, yeah. I mean, I can. It just doesn't, uh, you know. Oh. You guys, we're stuck so, at a high. So you take this <laughs> really? <outside laughs> yes. Uh, if, if you guys need to take it outside yeah, of the well, we'll, 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 be, we'll, be we'll be back. Yep. Yeah, Goodbye. <laughs> Stay safe, boys. You can see them. It's fine. Yeah. Cleanliness <laughs> well, is close to godliness, you know. Start. You don't also, believe in the gods. Godliness? <laughs> what? What, what the hell did you say? I said cleanliness is close to godliness. Is it? I don't know. It's a phrase I've heard before. From where? From who? I don't know. Maybe Straz. I, I don't remember. I just heard it at some point. I don't fucking phrase. I don't know. I never looked into it. I don't give a fuck. Now I'm curious. Okay. All right, you guys clean up your battle axe and mecha gauntlets. Um, But the night is coming to an end. Um, It is getting late. Um, So are you guys doing watches or are you just sleeping in the hunt? I'll take the first one. Yeah, we should still do watches. I assume gloves are back up to working order. No, not until the next uh, dawn. Fuck. Or was it an hour? I thought it was an hour. I, was I an will hour. look because now I don't know. Uh, does not allow you to use them until the end of your next turn. So they are active. You are correct. Yes, so you just can't use them for a turn. Well, well. I mean, they didn't live that long. Yeah, but well. <laughs> and the damage is like exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, mm, the hit die is higher. Is it? My so the, damage, the, the bonus is higher. Oh, the bonus. for the for the attack and instead of the plus four, it's plus five. Oh, okay. For the extra damage, it's plus eight to hit and one d six plus five as opposed to a one uh, plus seven one d six plus four. Because my martial arts die has gone up. So that's great. Okay, so are we taking watches? Yes. Yes. Uh, you're taking first watch. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do one last night, so I could do one this evening. I might do third. Okay. And then. Mama! Okay, first watch. That's me! I'm a plus saver instead of you. Hot. 16. Okay. With a 16, it is a peaceful night. Um, as you are like sitting down, just kind of listening, looking around, um, at some point, um, go ahead and make me a perception check, actually. Two. That's an eight, Chief. Eight, okay. 
You wouldn't be able to hear anything. However, uh, looking above you and like gazing into the stars, you would be able to see one small star that is just slowly moving across above you. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Other than that, your night passes and next watch. Uh... Eighteen. Okay. Here, this one might be better. There. There's a little fire. Eighteen. Okay. So with an eighteen, um, as you're like looking around, nothing happens throughout your entire watch. It's actually very, very peaceful the entire time. That's that's on and in sleep. All uh, right. Somebody's called rocking just... chair. I'll do a little more. Yeah. Okay. Third watch. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh my god, come on. Not well. Good watch time. Sleep. Okay. <laughs> you don't have a plan. Okay, so I'll just be <laughs> polishing the quarter staff. Mm-hmm. Just by the end of your watch, the hut will deactivate. Yep. At least just before the end of your watch. Good thing I kept the going. Eleven. Okay. With an eleven, um, most of your night is pretty peaceful or the rest of your early morning i guess um nothing really happens and then maybe like an hour or two before the end of your watch just the dome just would and just all that kind of like cool morning air would like rush in um the fire begins to like flicker and dim for a bit um but Nothing really happens. Um, go ahead though and make a constitution check for me. Okay. Just to see. Interesting. Something that could win. True, you have very high constitution. <laughs> Will wow. you win? Uh, I want a nine. What? God damn. So. You didn't see it. As the sun begins to like wax and that like morning light kind of enters the world um with the peacefulness of the area around you the kind of uh warm of the fire mixed with like the cold of the morning air uh the smell of like morning dew you get just like really really tired and for like the last like two hours of your shift you just you fall back to sleep but couple hours later uh you guys would all awake and you would notice that eve is like just either sitting down with like her quarter staff or laying down just i'm gonna walk like (laughs) i take my cow's blanket and i go wrap it around even i just look at all of you just Mm -hmm. okay well ornan since you're the first one up um as you're looking around you would notice there's a lot of things lying around your camp someone or something has gone through your stuff there are items laying out on the ground nothing appears to be like destroyed um but if you had like pouches of gold it would be like overturned uh all your like backpacks would have been dug through and whatever you use to contain the meat is all gone in fact half of your guys's rations in total are gone what well that's unfortunate because i had many of those as did i i had 16. i had 23. and three days where the rations left <laughs> uh round up or round down uh, I think it's always round down. It's always round down. Yeah. Well, shit. 
So it's easy enough for all of you who wake up, you definitely be able to see um, heavy, heavy foot tracks of a creature um, in your camp. It looks to be like a, um, some kind of medium sized, heavier creature uh, with like three claws on it. The footprints kind of look almost like uh, I guess almost dinosaur and like i guess if you would think about it like almost like the stereotypical like t-rex like footprint but like medium size i want to try to track it okay you can definitely do that uh survival yes survival to track it it's 19 chief Okay, yeah. Um, so you can kind of like paint a picture with what this creature did around here. Uh, you definitely see where it like came from because there are like tracks leading away and like coming in as well. Um, this thing seemed to just slowly like lumber into your camp and then just easily go for um or quickly go for your pack first at how it'll, all the meat in it. Devoured that first, you would see like, if it was like frozen, there'd be like parts of like bone or like ice chunks kind of like laying around. And then you would see it make its rounds to all the other packs, <laughs> dig through them, wow. eat whatever was in there. And then once it was satisfied, it left in the same direction that it came. And it looks to be going, um, kind of, not the direction you guys were going, but like kind of off track. What the fuck? You would see like other like pieces of like like smaller items kind of like in the direction that it went. I'm just like sitting there just staring out. We have other priorities. Mm. We need to get to that village. Yeah. Morning slacker. Uh, I, wait. wait. Don't call oh, her shit. that. <laughs> shit, I fell asleep. No, oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. No, what no. What the hell it's happened to our fine. camp? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, 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 no
as you said yourself, we can get rations other ways. Fuck! Why do you have to use your words against me? My own words against me! Fuck! Let's go. I'm rolling on my bed. <sighs> okay. No, I agree. Thank yeah. Thank you. I will roll up whatever stuff I have, and I'm going to start heading out towards that village. Yep. All right. I start rolling. Okay. Okay. So you guys pack up. Half your rations are gone from whatever this creature was that ate it, but you can continue on. And by um, less than, or just before midday, would enter this large forest. Um, I'll have um, Dara if you want to. I will accept a nature or history check to see if you know anything about this forest in particular. I'll do history. Come on, Dara. So remember what you said about not rolling first today? Uh oh. No, it's the Christmas. Maybe, the maybe you want to switch yeah. dice here. That, that's a six. What the fuck was that? That's fine. Oh. It was a what? That was a six total. <laughs> Fortunately, you don't know anything about these woods. That's okay. Nope, not. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Why the clatter of bones? Oh, That's the one. Oh. Why the bones? You guys begin making your way through this forest. It is very dense, like the canopies, canopy of the trees are blocking out most of the sunlight. Nothing here seems like bad or evil, but as you guys continue walking through this pretty, again, dense green forest, go ahead and make perception checks for me, please. You said that it's like blocking out the light. Yeah, so the, the canopy of the trees are blocking out a lot of the light. So it is, um, there are like lots of roots of trees kind of like going over each other. Um, so it's not like the other forest of Karnaka that you are going through. Um, this is very dense with like woodsons and treesons. 16. Uh, perception checks for the lot of you. 18, 18 good. 22, yeah, 22. Okay. Um. 12. 16. Okay. 12. Okay. All right. right. So, um, you three, Dara, Mirage, Macau, you guys are walking through this forest, and at some point you would hear something kind of like just off to the side of you. You'd hear the rustling of like bushes or, um, um, flora and then you would see at least one of them first what appears to be a almost humanoid like creature it is stick thin its body legs and arms but they are all disproportionately long to like everything else. Like their arms are super long. Um, their legs either are like short or long as well. Um, this one in particular that you see has really, really long arms that like stretch out in front of it and then really short like hind legs that it used to m maneuver around almost kind of like a, like a monkey almost, yeah. Uh, but again, these things are stick thin. Like even their uh, like hands that look like claws, super thin. Um, and then you see its head. This creature is completely black, like shadowy black. Um, it has the head of a bat. So like a long, like pointed snout, short uh, pointed ears, and then like sh thin, sharp, pure white eyes. And you just hear it like And then you begin to hear it speak to something else that's close by. Now give me. <laughs> If I can get this right. Uh, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I did it so perfectly before. Okay. I, I, <laughs> we must go to the wall. Master needs us there. You hear the other one? Yeah, I know. We go, we go, we go, we go. 
they begin walking away. Um, you three would also hear off in the distance, um, like a large crash. Um, and then you would hear kind of what uh, sounds like a skirmish or battle taking place. So what are you guys doing? These two creatures don't notice you yet. I don't see or really hear when anything. Mm-mm. You wouldn't notice this. So I want to use my sanctum scent. So for the next 10 minutes, I potentially attuned to the scent of blood as an action on your turn. You can draw a deep breath and immediately track the sense of creatures around you. For the next 10 minutes, you're able to smell the approximate number of living creatures within 60 feet of you. You can differentiate the type but not the identity of the specific creature. Does it have to have blood? Yes. Oh, okay. You don't smell shit. That's a very frightening question. Does it have to have blood? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? I understand this question. I can literally see them just... Um, you would also see as they're like walking away, the second one you would see has a super short torso, but both long legs and long arms. So it walk, it's walking like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just turn my head, nothing else towards everyone. Just Is this a bad idea? Do anything, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. Wild shape. Hmm? Because at this point, I'm just not gonna stop using it. Sure. Squirrel. Okay. I want to uh, scurry up a tree. Okay. Because no one's gonna be suspicious of a fucking squirrel. No. Nope. Hope. <laughs> as long as and... you act like a squirrel and just try and take a look around to see what I can see from the canopy. And <clears throat> below. You just... Shh. Are you go- trying to go like above to see above like the forest? No, I don't want to go above the forest. I just want to go up, like right below the canopy so I can get a good view for almost bird's eye. You can make a perception check, but I'll tell you right now, this is such a dense forest that it's hard to see almost anything. If you're trying to try to find the town, you wouldn't be able to see it from where you are. If you're trying to track those creatures, you're, you'd be able to from the top tree line, I guess, or top branches. Um, but it's, again, this is a very, very thick forest. Think of Fangorn Forest. Like, visualize that. That's almost how this is like. Okay. That's how like okay. dense it is. Oh. Say 22 on yeah. perception. Okay, you're able to see the creatures and where they're heading off to. Um, you are able to peer a little bit through the uh, trees of the forest and you are able to see like the opening of like where that town might be. That's about it though. And are they heading towards the town or are they helping? Yes, people? they are heading towards the town. And as you are kind of like looking at them, uh, at some point you just hear them both like and start taking off. Uh, With that, I'm going to acrobatics my way across these fucking trees. Sure, go ahead. And just try and get close to the town to see what I can find. Yeah, we'll say you can make it to the tree line if you want to, to of the opening. Yeah, Yeah, sure. Go ahead. What do I need to do? Acrobatics. Okay. Uh, I have advantage. Awesome. Wait. No, it's a lie. Okay. It's saves, not checks. Ah. We have arrow. Acrobatics, I do have a plus five, though. N- unnatural. Oh. Yeah, easy enough. You bound your way across these branches all the way to the edge of this forest, and you would see this opening. Um, it's almost like a perfect circle. 
Um, and in the center of the circle is a, it's a, it's a small town, maybe village in size, uh, but there is a pretty fortified stone wall all the way around it. It's not super tall, but like ah, maybe, maybe 10 feet tall. Um, stone walls with a few guard towers on like the edges of the town. Um, on the inside, you would see there are quite a few like village houses almost. And then there is like an inner sanctum. There is a Monster. smaller, huh? Sorry. There's like a smaller like inner wall. And then sprouting from the middle of this is like a almost steel colored tree that grows up and kind of branches out. There's no leaves or anything on there, but it's just like the trunk of this tree. And that's in the middle of the inner sanctum? Yes. Okay. Um, so immediately what you see is you get to the tree line. Um, those two uh, creatures are bounding their way over towards this town. Um, what you would see, um, smoke is rising from the uh, wall of this area. Um, it looks like it was just recently destroyed. There is a large patch of this wall that is just destroyed. Um, you would see making its way inside is a larger creature. You aren't able to see all of it because there is like smoke and it just walks into this place. You would be able to see it's a larger creature with a long tail that kind of splits like forks off at the end of the tail and it kind of like whips around and you just hear as it makes its way inside. Um, you... That's, that's all you would see right now. And those um, creatures um, bound their way to like the wall. They like look at each other, look around, and then they just make their way inside. Uh, you hear a lot of people are screaming. You hear the sound of battle, uh, swords clashing against like flesh. Uh, people screaming and yelling out names. Um, that's really all you would hear. Okay. So yeah. the sounds of battle and whatever these things are have made their way inside. Yeah, I'm going to get back to everyone else, Wild Shape out. Mm. And. Where did you go? I went over to the town. What's going on? Those creatures are invading the town. There was a portion of the wall broken down and there was a fight. What? So we're fucking up Shaw. We're gonna go fuck up Shaw, yeah. Okay. We're gonna do some spooky. Yeah, think, think, think monkeys. We need to wait till they were gone. Let's go. Yep. Monkeys. Monkeys. But like, like monkeys. sticks. Monkeys. <sighs> what? Who wants to do something cool? I think we were faster. Yes. I'm gonna expend my last wild shape and wild shape into a dino wolf. Okay. <laughs> um. Passive perceptions for all of you, please. Oh god, that's a. Oh wolf. fuck. Uh, 12, 13. 11. Dara. Four and up. Passive is a 13 as a dire wolf. Wonderful. Okay, cool. But I also have going with a passive perception of 16. And he has advantage on hearing. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I wouldn't. I don't know if that would help. Well, which one are you using? Yours or Gawain's? They're both active. It's when looking through Gawain's eyes, only one can be yeah. active. But yeah. Gawain, Gawain can alert me. If he sees anything. But as a wolf, I can't actively look yeah. through his senses, yeah. but he can still alert me. So would that still count for his advantage on hearing things? Yes. So roll again for him. Oh, it was passive. Oh, it was passive. You said passive. Okay, now I'm confused. So do anything or not do anything for him? He's, Gawain acts his I'm confused. Perception, his passive perception, because it's passive, it's Yes, but now you're time. saying he has advantage on hearing. So what is that? Does that do anything with passive perception? Is no. what I'm asking. Okay, so then, okay. Yeah. Information was irrelevant. Yeah. All right, so. What are you guys doing? Sorry, what are you doing? Go. Go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Go. okay. I jump on Dare's back as a dire wolf. Yep. Okay, so you guys are... 
running into battle on, on Dire Wolf. The rest of you are just falling behind. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So you guys are running towards the sound of battle just before you guys get to the tree line. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'll roll a d10 for it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Uh, Ornan, you can go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Delicious. Okay. Uh, so, you guys are, are Dara and Ornan riding on top of the dire wolf. Um, just before, again, you get to the tree line, you would just, it, all of a sudden, just hear. Yeah, as something like jumps through like the trees and just goes right at you and just <clears throat> knocks you right off of Dara. You take six points of slashing damage as you go tumbling off and then this thing <clears throat> comes to a slide and just like looks at you. Uh, ring of evasion. I automatically succeed my death save. Okay. Yeah. 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 But it's still scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I don't like the sound it made. I don't like it. Okay, I like you'll it, still take damage, but you won't fall off of okay. Dara. Like it scratches me, but it doesn't knock me off Dara. Yeah. Okay. You said six? Yes. Yeah, and then it like claws on the ground, turns around and looks at you all and is gonna make another attack unless you wanna do something. So if you wanna go ahead and roll for initiative, you can. Yes. Fuck. Well, this thing looks like in front of you, it has a much longer body and then like short hind legs and again, those long front legs. Um, so it gives this like look of like this weird, um, almost kind of like dog shape, I guess, but with like just a too long of a body that almost gives it like a d d dog snake appearance, I guess. Slender dog. Slender dog, yeah. yeah. Slender dog. All right, cool. Uh, six, 16. 16? Hey, I can do you one better. Okay. Six. Wow, that was crazy, okay. <laughs> 14. Okay. Six. It's gonna go first. I got a three on the die. <laughs> Me too. No, I didn't. That's why I got a one. All right, so. I have three total. Just as it turns around and looks at you, um, it, you guys kind of, do you, are you stopping to run? Or are you gonna keep going? It's not, what? Are you continuing? Are you gonna continue to run or are you stopping to fight this thing? I'm gonna stop. Okay, <laughs> so. Cause it just clawed me. Yeah. All right, so it's gonna turn around and then uh, run back to you, Ornan, and continue to slash. Try me! It is, that is not on there. Well, the first one hits. Uh, okay, you take another six points of slashing damage as it runs back over, it like leaps in the air and oh, takes two dude. slashes at you and only one connects. It hops over the dire wolf and then stands there and it just, <laughs> Ratch meat, meat, meat. Yeah. Oh, what a All right. Shit. <laughs> it is your guys' turn. There's only one of these things. Ooh, Morgan, you're right, like right next to it, right? Yes. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's still on you. Half tactics. I have an advantage on attack rolls. There you <laughs> go. That's a uh, 23 to hit. Yeah! Yeah, that hits. Hell yeah, bitch. Also, I'm almost to devouring rage. That was seven piercing damage. And I need a, a this thing counts as a creature, right? <laughs> yes. I need a strength saving throw. Uh, uh. Five. It is prone. Seven. Okay. Fifty-seven. It is prone. Smash it. I would like to do 
Where, okay, this is important. Where are you hitting it? What does this thing look like? Uh, I'm confused. Super long stick thin body, two like short hind legs, and then two really long like front legs. What? So it's like a car that that's jacked up in the front. Yeah. What the it's got fuck short is this? It's like a it's like a gorilla that you just. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like yeah. run yeah. straight, go straight for the middle and like grab its chest and throw it down. How much damage did you do again? Seven. Uh, seven piercing. <laughs> okay. Cool. Throw it on the ground. It is now prone. Okay. All right. Chop chop twice. Okay. Where are you attacking? We'll go for the we'll go for the head. Okay. Dead space. We're, we're about to learn the mechanics of this monster. <laughs> yep. Also, rage. I'm pissed okay. off at it. Well, it's prone. Yeah, so you have advantage. <laughs> So, one of them will definitely hit one as a baby. Yeah, 18 on the die for one. Hits. Awesome. 16 for the other one. Mm, that one hits as well. Amazing. Sorry, I was like, <laughs> I was like, eight. I believe it's a <laughs> Love Dungeons and Dragons. I love doing math for fun. My entire move has more health than me. What? The entire move has more health than me. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me! <laughs> this is great. It gives me an effective HP pool of 70, so thank you. Uh, mm. 25 damage. In total for both hits? Yeah. Damn. I rolled a seven and an eight on a d10. That's pretty good. Plus my rage damage. Yeah. Okay, so, um, you're going for its legs? No, the head. The head. Sorry, head, okay. <laughs> with both of your attacks, your first one like chops into it, and with the second swing, um, like butter, the head just goes Foof. <laughs> oh no, is it going to be this? And then dead? it just it just yeah. hops up on its head and just ow, ow. Let's go. That's cool. oh. And it just falls over and its tongue like hangs out. What? Its what? body is oh. and it's still moving around. Check it, but its head cut off. Do oh. oh. you wanna go first? Ladies first? Yeah. Sorry, I so, Oh, no, you're yeah, fine. Jesus. All right, so I want to change up the flavor Hurry. of Shocking Grasp. Mm -hmm. Instead of using my hands, I want to step on it. I haven't stepped on anything this game. Yeah, well, where are you on stepping it. on it? Um, okay, so the head is a no-go, right? It doesn't you have could a head. step on that if oh, you want it, to. Um, is it, is it still torso, tall? like, still up? Like, Everything is still up. The okay. only thing that's on the ground is its head, and it's just kind of like lifeless on the ground. Yeah, and the entire thing is prone. Yeah. Like it just prone. So you can oh, you're right. It is prone. My bad. Yes, it is on the ground. So sorry. Uh, Did it right. <laughs> is it, it is really. Is it chest up or? It is prone on the ground. All of it is. Poof. Yeah, but like. Eh, well, eh. Face down or face up? Face down. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'll just stomp <laughs> on this back. <laughs> okay, how, how long is it prone for? Until the start of its or end of its next turn? I think it's... Yeah, it, it, it's prone until it gets up on its next turn. Yeah. So oh, okay, it cool. Gets up. Yeah. All right, cool. Movement. And do you have advantage on this because it's technically a melee attack? Melee spell mm -hmm, attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Not 20? Damn! Let's fucking do it! Didn't need it! Mega Mommy heal! Pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
Do that damage, baby. Do that damage. Do that damage. Do that Boots. Well, didn't Shock and Grasp go up in level since you're level 5? Should they do more damage? <laughs> I think so. Because it should do 2d8. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, it is. Damn. Puzzle. And as a critical. Nerd! Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nerd! Alright, so how much damage are you doing? Wait, what? No. Wait, what did I roll damage? Did you hit first? Oh. Yeah, I did. I hit not 20. Yeah, okay, 20. perfect. Alright, so I guess that's uh, it's 9. 9 and we double the damage. 18. Yeah, 18. 18. Oh, oh, fucking fucking can't. Can't. Let's go, baby. 18 is lightning. Yep. You step on this torso dealing 18 damage. That shock just emanates throughout its entire body. It goes. <laughs> and then its arms. Uh, it's legs. Now you have four limbs that are standing on their own. The torso lifeless on the ground. Brother! This, this guy stinks! Mikal. Hi. I would like Mikal to... Come on, Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Yeah, it's going to be around, is it? I hate the bullshit. Um... <laughs> We'll so consider it's like, still course. prone because it's not its turn yet. But <laughs> I just uh, ask because it almost seems like it's a new creature. Because if it's a new creature, then yeah, it would technically end up end up prone. But if same boy yeah. unleashed, then <laughs> unleashed, it's free. I mean, um, okay, so one. I'm gonna still consider it as prone just okay, to keep the yeah. rules the same. Okay. Um, but its limbs are getting back up. We'll say that. I hate that. So, like, oh, cool. I hate it. Mirage steps down, the shock goes over, it goes limps, and then you see all of its limbs, like, pop off, awesome. and it's, like, clawing, and it's just about to get up again. So you have your chance to go ahead and attack it. I will, with my glove gloves, I'm gonna go over to one of the limbs, I'm gonna grab it, and I'll break it. And I'm just gonna twist it. Okay. Just, just just break the fuck out of it. Okay. But not it. I'm not ripping it in half or nothing. Cause I don't want to have eight. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah, go ahead like, and make an attack. That's yeah, like eating crap. And I still have bandage. The bandage. Yeah, it's from Jay. Hey, <laughs> what are we doing? I see two. <laughs> yeah, I one see of them. two. A uh, thirteen. Damn. Yeah. Does not hit. That's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, second attack. <laughs> <laughs> Again! <laughs> Round two. Time, this time with feeling. <laughs> oh, come on, take, I'll take it! 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that hits. That's what I got. The other one was like one. <laughs> 11. Damage? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Lifeless. Which leg do you do? Mm-hmm. Leg. But like the leg. The Which legs? leg? The... There are so many. Big leg, small leg. Uh, not front, back. Short. One, ba- one Short. back. One back leg down. There are three limbs left. There are the two arms and one leg. Okay. I go long leg arm, bonnet action. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, go oh, ahead. Okay, I'm right on a motorcycle. Go ahead. <laughs> it's like crap. I'm like, God, this is fucking gross. <laughs> oh! Hey. Nice. It's going to die. That's an at 20. Understood. <laughs> it must die. Fare thee well. Bye bye. Oh, that's a five. Nice. Oh, that's a six. Oh. Even better. 17. <laughs> Long limb. Falls on the ground, lifeless. There are still two left. So, it is its turn. Um, Both of these are acting on their own will. And, um, since Macau will technically be the closest now breaking its limbs, um, the long arm is going to, like, lift up and just go through your throat. So, it's just going to make an attack against you. 
Yes. When you're saying it's just like lifting up, we're talking like this hand is just fucking levitating? Or does it like... Uh, not levitating. Okay. It like lifts itself up so it's like its hand is up. Kind of like think of like a like a puppet, like snake kind of a thing. That's what it's doing right now. And then it just Ugh. kind of like... Rah! I hate it. It's yeah. great. Okay, first attack is gonna miss. So it like goes for your throat and just misses. And then like, <laughs> it, yeah. High five, no. and it goes down on the ground, and it's acting like you know the Adams family like yeah. hand, yeah. but with its fucking massive limb just straight oh, up in the air. Oh, um, Josiah. <laughs> the next one's gonna hit. Ew. Uh, yeah. s- maybe sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe okay. Sweet, so, uh, six points of slashing damage as this small like hind leg like hops over to you, and then its claws like extend as it slashes into your chest and like stands in front of you. Mikhail was like grossly horrified, and that's so like, oh Jesus! Like he's just like ew, very grossed <laughs> out, very grossed out. Okay, slay. I've been slashed. I'm All right. It is your guys' turn. That is its turn. Two limbs left. I'm gonna hop off your back. And I'm gonna go. You were, weren't you knocked off by the way? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. No, it's saved. Right. I'm gonna Great. hop down and I'm gonna go for a, the a front leg. Okay. It's like... Oh, that's a six. Okay. What the fuck? That's a four plus eight. So 12. No. Damn, second attack, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> or it's not prone anymore. No, I, oh. Yeah. That was out of the box. <laughs> you need to get higher 13? balls on that box. No, okay. You go to slash for the limb and it, it's, since it's, it's only just one, like very thin oh arm. It is dodging out of the way very easily. Brody. It has no eyes and yet it is still able to detect your swings and dodge out of the way. This thing has a mind of its own. All right, who is next? I will go next. I'm gonna go after that same arm because pack tactics. I'm gonna try and bite on his hand and just like just wriggle it around. Yeah. <laughs> See the video of the guys like um in like the the trail. There's a snake in front of him. He's like, well, I can't pass. And his dog goes. <laughs> grabs on his <laughs> it goes flying off me he goes well shit <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, that's a 24 to hit yeah damn wolf go burr uh nine piercing damage more like wolf go burr it's still up it's still alive I also still need a strength saving throw so I'm not actually grappling it. <laughs> Fail. From. Yeah, so you like, <laughs> and it like, part of it gets like chomped off and it like falls on the ground, but you can still see it like trying to like pick itself back up with its fingers. Oh. <laughs> but like half of his limb now is just ripped off. Um, it, it's a weird taste in your mouth and there's no blood, but this like, almost like black shadowy mist starts to like drip down from it. Uh, do you want to do the honors? Is it like ashy? Yeah. Like, what, what, what kind of flavor are we talking about here? I can't even tell. Ashy. The Ashen Lord. The Ashen Lord. No. Shush. Um, I don't know if I got a note. So all I wanted to do was go to bed last night and eat him and also play Elder I was like, no, like. <laughs> <"Hey."> <laughs> go ahead. Um. Just make a constitution check for me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give me one moment. I have to remember if con is something that I keep or... Your stats are... Not all of them. Whichever one's highest, I believe, is the one that you use. Keep wis- intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So charisma mm-hmm. and con is going to be a plus two based on the wolf. This one... What the fuck is with this dice? I'm not 20. Yeah, it doesn't taste terrible. However, this is nothing like you've ever tasted. It, it, ugh. Almost like if you were to take a, like, ocean stone 
that has had like seaweed and nasty stuff like washed up onto it. That's what it tastes like. Oh, delicious. Thanks for the meal. Yeah, you're welcome. Itadakimasu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. Okay, who's next? One well, of thank them you. is prone. Yeah. It is prone. Get One of them is prone. So you get it, man. Five shot. Yeah. Roll me once that's cocked. That was cocked. Yeah, that, that was, was very cocked. That's a net one. Thank God. Oh, roll that again. God. Nope. Oof. What's your. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So right. That's it. Line up. So six, uh, 15. Hits. Hell yeah. Woo! Never look at me. <laughs> Two D8. Yeah. Fuck it up. Level get five. Get get into it. Level five. Fourteen. Level five. What are you five. using? Cold? Yeah. Frey of Frost. That okay. would not have had advantage. Oh. Well, let's see. Because that's a ranged spell attack. Oh. Roll again. Please. Oh. Please. 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 Come on. Go on. Roll the hit. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh, please. That okay. Like 16. Yeah. yeah that hits. Okay. <laughs> you just keep the damage. All right. Or... And yeah, what was the damage? Uh, 14 cold. Which one are you attacking? The only remaining one. There are two the, left. The prone. The prone, prone one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that thing. You hit it with the cold and it tries to get back up and then just. <laughs> falls down lifeless. You have one limb left. Is that tiny back limb. I hate this thing. Does it, have, does it have like phalanges? What? <laughs> no. There's no phalanges. It doesn't have fingers. It doesn't have toes. I mean, yeah, it does. That that's what phalanges is. Wonderful. I would Thank like you. to stomp on that. Okay, go stomp ahead. Stomp on the phalanges. <laughs> this one's not. Phalanges. It is unwilling, undeserving. I'm gonna try to stomp on it again. Okay. <laughs> no, I I'd go to stomp, and I'm like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a 17 plus 8. Yeah. Damn. 10, 27 damage. To crush. Yeah. 10, you crush that thing. Right. Yeah, with one punch, it just goes flat on the ground. You hit so hard, actually, that you kind of make an indent in the ground and all of its phalanges just, like, <laughs> spread out flat like it's on paper. Uh, okay, so you're out of battle now. This thing is all of its limbs spread out like it was popped off of its sockets and had a mind of its own, but it is now dead. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, um... I don't know. All right. I hated everyone. Yeah, you're, you're a right. wolf. I am a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Back on your back. How? A woo? Oh. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with more of these things yet. Yeah, we'll start. Okay. Towards the broken wall. I just, I just mockingly. Yeah! 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 So, you guys make your way to the broken wall. Immediately what you can, um, gain from like this like information um you would see that this part of the wall didn't seem like it was all made out of stone it was almost as if before it was broken um there was a hastily made like blockade like people were trying to repair this thing and it was destroyed again so this was the weaker part of the wall um so as you guys step into this town again, you hear uh, fighting coming from all over the place. You hear people screaming, people getting um, eaten by these things. Um, and then as you are um, like continuing in to see like where you can help out, uh, you would hear uh, some like deeper voice, like commanding voice um, in the distance. Uh, you hear him yell, Nakoa! Nakua, where are you? Sound out, soldier! And then you would hear a younger voice off in the distance. Over here, please, I need your help. I'm coming. And you just um, hear those voices like travel off in the distance. Um, but 
Okay, you guys enter this area. Um, immediately you see these like group of like townsfolk who are getting cornered by two of these creatures and you hear them as they like step closer. Um, one of them is actually like looks like a human, but its arms like drag on the ground. Um, but everything else looks very humanoid. Uh, the second one is uh, very small in shape. However, its neck is so long that it like drags on the ground beside it as it's like walking. Um, and you hear both of them. Um, they're using that same noise that you heard to like almost like contact each other. You just. Wretch, wretch, meat, yummy. The one that with its neck on the ground starts to like try to like raise it up, and it's like swinging back and forth and around. I I haven't seen him for so long. <laughs> That's what it feels like he's the fucking. That's the word I'm looking for. Like the curses. Which one? Yeah. The curses and shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like, just the gross, like, the, the humans that get turned into the I don't transfiguration on the humans. There we go. Yeah, yeah. transfiguration. <laughs> when the people get turned into little <laughs> monster visions oh. and shit. Yes! <laughs> this is what I'm making me think of. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I you say so great. I hate you. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm so violently uncomfortable in my own skin. I'm, like, crying from that word. Like, ah! It's going on. Master says, eat them. Ah! Kill them all. Oh. I hate it, and I'm also like, yeah! <laughs> I love horrifying things. Uh. Um, you see the townsfolk, like, just, like, cowering in fear. Um, one of them, uh, like, looks past and just sees all of you and just, like, looks out to you, like, hoping, like, that you'll help them out. <laughs> I charge! <laughs> You're on me, dumbass. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you just lift him up by the wolf body and just... <laughs> <laughs> I see my cow running in. Yeah! Like, kick him. Yeah, I, I fucking... Can you go, please? Okay. Towards That'll go. Those fuckers. Very good. <laughs> Mockingly just... Yeah! And I'm like, can you... It's like, People. we break through the tree line. I do the Henry Cavill fucking... Boom, boom, and then I just start running. <laughs> they don't notice you. What? Yet, unless, well, they are gonna attack this. They're gonna attack the civilians, which is what they're gonna yeah. do. Uh, I'm not that fast, son of a bitch. Son I'm fast, oh, holy fuck. shit. You're fast? How fast are we gonna get there? Okay. 50 feet per round. The, um, describe the one with the long neck. What was the other one that I said? Um, long arms. Yeah, super, super long arms. Humanoid, Sorry, but long arms. Okay, I so yeah. Both of, both of them do have humanoid shapes. One of them has long neck, one of them has long arms. Um, okay, <laughs> the one with the long arms uh, walks up to one of them and just takes one of his hands, and like a whip, it bends back, and then he <laughs> slashes yeah. down, and just leaves That's this huge so cool. gash mark of, again um, against one of the civilians, who just like drop down holding on their shoulder. They let out like a brief scream, but like look up and just terror is over their face. They're like sweating bullets, they're crying. All right, next one, misses, hits. Um, this one goes to one of the other ones in the corner and its head, like it brings it up and kind of like a, uh, um, like spring jack-in-the-box type of thing. It like bounces back and then whips forward and its neck like extends like a whip almost and it like oh. grabs on to one Ooh. of the uh, necks of the civilians and like takes out a chunk uh, before like whipping back. Um, okay, that is their turns. So you guys can go. Uh, yeah, those close. civilians are heavily damaged. At least two of them are. I am going to take a dash action. Okay. And maybe. There. Shit. Sorry, Owen. <laughs> Dead. Oh, shit. That. Dash. Yeah. I have 100 feet of movement when I dash. Very good. Uh, uh, you guys can move both those guys up. Oh, yeah. Where, where are they supposed to be at? They're, They're just 10 feet up. Oh, then do excuse me while I move closer. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm, I'm gonna try to hit twice. All right. Go for the. If you're carrying someone, does that reduce your movement? I feel like as big wolf it wouldn't. Yeah. I know people have rode yeah. wolves. Yeah. And I feel not, like it wouldn't. I don't think it would, but if horses aren't reduced. Okay, true. that's fair. True. Yeah, that's my entire argument. Here's my argument. Horse. <laughs> you are a horse. Argument. Haunts. Horns. Uh, I'm gonna go after the one that has the long neck. Okay. Well, on Oh, yeah. 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 Cleave that bitch in half. Mounted combat. Oh, that's a feature. Never mind. I don't want to look at features, please. Oh, my rage would have ended. Need mounted yes, combat. There we go. Yeah. yeah, there really is nothing. Okay, cool. So I'll allow it. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. I just didn't know because, like, I know if you're if a person is carrying a person, movement is reduced. But if you are a large creature, I don't think it would do anything. So yeah, I'm a large creature, and I have a decent amount of strength too. All right, seventeen. Yeah, you're you're fine. Okay, so what you doing? That's a thirteen and a fourteen to hit. Uh, neither of those hit. Damn. These guys are tough. I don't like them. I don't like it. I am going to start running, like just booking it forward. And as I do so, I am going to go with me here. <laughs> I need you to come with me on this journey. I am going to rip my shirt off. And just, hey, fresh me, fresh me, and just start slapping myself. <laughs> Performance check. <laughs> nice and easy. Please. Please. Let's look, I am delicious. 15. That's pretty good. To me. I, I tried doing like the uh, uh, thing. <laughs> All right, the one with the long neck turns around, piece of flesh in its mouth, and just looks Ugh. at you and just oh. feast, big boy. <laughs> it turns and sees both of you two like right beside it, and it just kind of like backs up for a second, but like one of its eyes just like look towards you, Macau. <laughs> <laughs> you have its attention. It just is. It can't move past the threat that's in front of it now. Sure okay. Can. I mean, it can. Um, yeah, exactly, it can. <laughs> I, guess, I assume that was probably, but so that's my action. I assume. Yes. Um, where's my dish? No. I fucking love Buddy And then, like pussy. Bonus, bonus action, I will spend a key point to do patient defense. <laughs> okay, very good, yeah. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Well, okay, well. <laughs> Mirage, what are you doing? Um, all right, which one is taking damage? None. None, none. Okay. Uh, swing and a miss. Again, right. swing and a miss. So, the one you swung and missed at, I want to go for that one. Long, Long neck. neck with magic missile. All right, damage, go. What <laughs> level? Uh, all right, um, I'll just do level one. Just, uh, Go to find it. Where's my pencil? Not my pen. Yeah, that's a pen. This one. That's a... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, one, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> damn. Damn. That is fucking damn. Ass on a stick. Jesus. Okay. One, one, and one. So six. six. Where are you attacking it? In its fucking head that it's like trying to like jiggle and okay, move yeah. around. Its yeah. jiggly head is moving around and three magic missiles just poof. You see like it hits it once and it like flings to the side and it lets you poof, poof. But the head is so fluid that it like wraps itself back up. You can see like parts of its like face are now like missing now, um, but it's still up. Um, okay. Um... You guys are within melee range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. The other one that was just about to take an attack on the other one, 
um, or the civilian, sorry, it like turns around, both of its arms are on the ground and it looks over and sees Macau Mirage in the distance. Um, they both look at each other and just like lift up their heads and they, I, 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 goes down on the ground. Um, this one with the long neck is gonna try to um, grab Wolf Ornan. It's the oh. crazy train. I I I I can test with my strength. Yes. Yes, I thought it was her acrobatics to escape. Acrobatics. Twenty-one. That's all. Okay. It tries to wrap you around its neck, but it doesn't work. Um, the other one takes off towards uh, Macau and Mirage. Um, so you two can attacks. take opportunity attacks. Huzzah! I'm gonna this go for a good job for me. Huh? I'm gonna go for a limb. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm natural 20 and I'm going for its neck. <laughs> and I have pack tactics. <coughs> okay. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it 13 hits. No. Even with advantage. Wolf. Well, because 10 points of damage. Sign up. What did you hit it with first? Did you get it? Huh? What did you hit it with? My battle axe. No, no, no. What was your roll? Sorry. Your attack point. Unnatural 20. Oh, okay. With your battle axe, where are you hitting it? And how much damage? Your neck. 10. Okay. I'm trying to separate its fucking neck from its it body. It runs past you. Its arms dragging on the ground. You just take your battle axe and just hold it out and it... A head gets cleaved off and it falls on the ground, but the rest of its body just keeps running. Yeah. It gets within 20 feet of Macau and Mirage and takes its arms and just and pops them off as they get flung towards your neck. Mirage and wow, what's it with you rolling a two? Uh, Macau. There's stipulations for Dodge. Because that's what uh, Pace Pace defense. defense is. Yes. You can take dodge. Uh, until the start of my next turn, any attack roll made against me has disadvantage if I can see them, and I make dexterity saving throws with advantage. Very good. It rolls again. Uh, 11. Nar. Okay, none of those hit. So it throws out its arms at you guys, and it just um, it goes a little bit too far. So now <laughs> there are. Um, Slides past my arms. <laughs> Two limbs. Fuck with me! <laughs> it is your guys' turn. Limb one, limb two. Yeah. You said that its arms went like past? It's right behind you guys. Oh, beh- oh fuck. Okay, mm. cool. what are you guys doing? Your turn. I should have fucking hated. That would have been really I have a question because I'm trying to understand these things still. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can give me the answer yet. Okay. It to me, it feels like attacking the torso was pointless. You can go ahead and roll insight against, and that'll be an action if you want to Fuck divulge no. that information. That's not worth an action. <laughs> the long neck one is still the one next to me in there, correct? Yes. I hit. <laughs> you know you can wait Six. until I hit for prone. Oh yeah. Too late. What is your roll? Yeah. 16 plus 8. It still hits. <laughs> that's a critical! Cause, uh, no, oh. DK, I'm not in range. Uh, that's a 19 plus 8, so 27 they hit. That still hits. So two attacks hit. Well, damage. And where are you hitting them? Okay. Okay, still alive. What are you doing? Got it. Was that it? Yeah. Okay, it's still up. Who's going next? Fuck. <sighs> I will. Okay. And I will go after its back okay. leg. Very good. Whichever one's closest. Uh, Warning is within five feet of me. Yep. So I have tactics. Very good. 
That's a 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That's significantly better than the one. <laughs> uh, ooh. 11 piercing. Rips that leg right oh, off. Damn. It is destroyed. It is now standing on one leg. Good. Okay. Rest of you. Quevin, because I forgot. Um. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, strength check, please. Ah! Save it, girl. Don't. Don't you do it. It's gonna be five. Fourteen. Shit! <laughs> it sounded like a Thor of fourteen or fifteen. I'm like, no. I was trying to see its skills on here. Okay. I have quite a bit of a second um, I can't use Misty Step and another spell at the same turn. Uh, you can use Misty Step and then a cantrip. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, how high yeah. up are these roofs? Ah. 20 feet. 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay, I want to messy step up to the roof. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I will, uh, I guess uh, I'll shoot Ray of Frost at number one. How far does Ray of Frost go? 60 feet or 30? Um, I mean, it's pretty far. I thought it was pretty far. I just want to make sure. I don't remember I think it's 60. I want to say it's 60. That's what yeah. I initially thought. I want to say it's 60, so I have. 60, <laughs> right? Yeah, 60? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 60. Cool. Alrighty. And you've got 2d8 on the roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bonk it. Will it hit? And speed is reduced by 10 feet. Yep. I must wrap that. Will it hit? What are you, are you going for, what, what are, you, are you taking the body? No, the, the arm number one. Oh, sorry, okay. Yeah. Wanted to make sure. Okay, that's 21. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Four. Good shit. Destroy. Yeah, shake yeah. that hand. Great. That's uh, 13 Break. ice. 13? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that fucking limb gets yeah. frozen and then just shatters. Yeah. Hell yeah. Get we'll figure it out. These are the long, long arms? Yes. Cool. Long, 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 long. I don't know what happens if you destroy all the limbs and not the head. Macau. Dead space style. I would like holy, holy. to yep. turn and... <laughs> Grab the arm mm-hmm. and just boom, 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 and just start beating it into the ground. Make it tackle, yeah. yeah. Render it useless. Yeah, it's a blunt ice object now. Not that one. Oh, oh. Arm. the sure. other one got just destroyed. Oh, okay. I'm grabbing the arm that's still functional oh, and just yeah. beating yeah. it. Into it the got ground. shattered like the Elden Ring. No. Okay. <laughs> Try okay. again. Fourteen plus eight. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Six. In total? Excuse me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Parts of it just go flying off everywhere and just, it is destroyed. And that's the body, right? Yep. Okay, I will go hit it with my bonus action. What? Um. Oh. Oh. I, uh, it doesn't, that one doesn't have its head, right? Correct. Okay. Or arms. Does it have a leg? leg? Yeah. Oh. It has its leg and torso. One leg! Or, oh no, it no has that one has two legs. legs. Yeah, yeah, the other yeah. one is missing leg. Um, it has its torso and two legs. I will, all needs. Yep. will do like a, a little fucking like windmill kick and I want to try to hook my leg over its shoulder and like slam it into the ground. Go ahead. So that would be technically unarmed. So then... No. I miss. Understood. <laughs> All right. It's, it's a little too thin and I miscalculate. <laughs> you go ahead and try to kick it and it's gonna try to repost. Oopsies. It can repost! Okay, that was just flavor of words. It can't actually repost. <laughs> uh, does a 14 hit? No. The other one does then. Okay. Uh, okay you take... He's mapping. He's Matt's gonna make Matt. one more attack against you. Actually. Three of them? That one also hits, because okay. it was a higher roll. You try to windmill kick him, and you like miss, and he does the same thing where he like turns around and extends his leg and just <laughs> poosh, it hits you on the back and you hit the ground. <laughs> and then um, he detaches the leg. And then the other one, but before he detaches that one, he like jumps up 
and like points his stick long body down at you, detaches a leg and just kind of like spears you in the back. Um, you take 12 points of slashing damage. How? What do you think of, oh, what are those creatures from Final Fantasy? Those pole armor, pole arm fuckers. Dragon ears, something. 16. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, it's this the, thing is fully detached now. Um, oh, all right, it is now the other one's wow. turn. Dragoons. Wow. Uh, uh, Elven ring. Yeah. How long does the run last? So he thing. has one his leg, gets up. his gets arm up. are still there, his torso and his head. Uh, okay. Maybe he like magnetized minis for this shit. <laughs> so uh, okay. That'd be so cool. <laughs> don't. 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 Stop uh, using your noggin. That's dangerous. For us, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Without provoking opportunity attack. Fuck you. Fuck you! It's still... He is going to throw one of his limbs at Macau. Okay. Who's on the ground? Just, this oh, one is only rolling twos. I'm so scared of that dice now. Who's on the um, ground? Okay, so there is a I think it might third limb by Macau. Whoopsies. Um, and then bowling. The snake head is going to once again try to grapple Ornan. No. Leave me. I deny. Fuck off. Natural twenty. Okay, that fails. Fuck you. (laughs) It once again tries and it fails. Okay. Fuck you and your stick boys. That's their turns. Alright, I'm gonna try and munch on this fucker's only remaining leg. Go ahead! Cause he doesn't fucking deserve it. It is time. It is time. Critical. <gasps> oh, yeah! Let's go! Damn! Boy. Come Ooh. on, Deb, come on. Nah, that's not great. Person. No, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Badass. Total 7, 14 piercing. That leg is gone. You rip it off from it, and like its torso falls on the ground, and its head... (laughs) It's still alive, but it has no legs anymore. It has one arm, its torso... Is it automatically prone? At this point? Uh... Because I need it to make a strength check otherwise. If it don't have legs, I don't know. We'll, We'll do... With disadvantage, even with disadvantage, the lowest one was uh 17? 16, sorry. Yeah, that's that yeah. Alright, so it's like now just hopping on its torso with its arms beside it and its legs like flailing or yeah, its head flailing yeah, around. Alright, who's going I next? I wonder how it would feel without a head. I wonder. Let's find out. Unwell. Oh, <laughs> Killing. That's not. That's a Did you guys ever have those like balloon boxing things? Like oh, a yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this thing is. <laughs> a twenty-two. Yeah, that hits. Fucking just flopping back. <laughs> yep. Twelve points of damage. Head. <laughs> Clean off. (laughs) Like, just before it goes lifeless, it coils like a snake and it buries its head inside and dies. All right. Who's next? So it's... (laughs) Is the torso still move? Yep. Shit. The torso and... So it's got like five collective HP... Five collective hit pools. Yeah. Help. Health pools of ten. Okay. Who's doing what? So I am on the ground with a torso in my torso. Yeah. Is the torso still a functional torso? Yep. That's disgusting. Infuriating. Yep. Is it still in there? Uh, it'll like take itself out once you put your, pick yourself back up. Okay. Then I will. Like, if I'm still on the ground, would it stay there? Or once it stabs, would it yeah. immediately... Oh, It'd pull out. Fuck, that would, that would have been so... Okay. 
Um, I will just arise. And then, um, there, so those are, what is one, two, and three? Though? That's legs and torso. Um, one of them is the arm of the long head guy. And then you have the torso and I think one leg, I think is it. Amazing. Because my brain cannot comprehend any semblance of where body parts are right now. Sorry. I will simply fuck up number three. One and two are legs. That guy still has his torso. Three is the arm of the other one. Amazing. So there are four limbs around me. I'll currently. fuck up number three. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll get up. Go on the cap. That is a 19. Hits. Eight. Holy fuck! Ooh. 11. Dead. I keep rolling sixes. This is great. And then I will, with my second attack, fuck up number one. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> 14. Hits. Does not hit, sorry. One doesn't Damn. hit. Okay. Bonus action. Same fucking roll. Damn. Okay. Damn, that is unfortunate. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Uh, Thanks, champ. All right, over at Frost number one. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that there was another camera that showed expressions <laughs> when I'm looking at you. One day, we'll get One there. One day when I can figure out how to set up the secondary camera, because yeah. it doesn't work on OBS to have two cameras. You know what? Uh, scratch that. I want to do shatter and have this be the uh, 10 foot cube to hit both. Nice. Okay. What does shatter do? How much damage at least, or what do they need to save? Big thunder wave bubble. Sudden ringing, ringing noise painfully intense or from a point of my choice of the range. Each creature within a 10 foot radius sphere center on that point must make a con saving throw. So, both of them. I got scared because I didn't. What's the DC? 14. One of them yeah. succeeds. Well, number one succeeds. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. And then the 3d8 thunder. <laughs> Ah. Wait, no. Wait, what the fuck am I rolling? These are not. These are all different. <laughs> uh, one, two. Seven. Fourteen thunder. Dead. Hell yeah, get giggled. Yeah. Yeah. Giggled. Okay. <sighs> Oh, the other one takes half as much. How much did you take? Seven? Yeah. And that was the other one. arm of the other one. So it's still alive. Huh? Yeah. No, sorry, three was the arm. That's the yeah. leg. Okay, still alive. Still alive. Okay. Um, it is their turn. Fuck. So no. he has one arm, no legs, torso. No head. No head. The other guy has. So no head. So no head. <laughs> Does that guy still have his head? Did this take his head this guy? Yeah. I don't. I think no, so. No. Oh. He was the guy with the long arms that ran at us. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Great. That yeah. was the first I, That was, was the first head that was destroyed. That shit right no, you're you're so right. Okay. So, um. I forgot I have nuggets and fries. Oof. <laughs> that was not. He's thinking. I don't like it. Stop. When Stop. When he thinks, it's always really bad. Keith, I need you to head empty. Um, no number one is gonna reattach no to the body. So, what? So no pot. What? Ah. And kind of like how a hammer toss person like spins around, it spins around and its torso detaches and <laughs> heads straight towards Mirage like a fucking spear. Yo! Oh, cool. That That's definitely it. hits. Ow. Six points of piercing damage as this thing just <laughs> Right into you. Um, and then its no one hurts leg so is going to smash into Macau no. with Don't an hurt. unnatural 20. Six points of slashing damage. Is it detaching? 
and the leg, or is it still attached? L- the leg and the torso detach. Those are the only two limbs left. Oh, okay. So that's so the the torso stabbed Mirage, and the uh, last leg of it hit Macau. You remember that scale I did yeah. earlier, where like top health is uh just gray, and then you got gray, and then you got and then it did all that. And I said that the concerning was the last one, or concerning and then dead. I'm concerning. Okay, so this thing is just Get a- near me. <laughs> so can, that guy only has it. a torso then, cause he threw out his arms, head is gone, both of his legs are destroyed. <laughs> so it's just a hopping yeah, red torso. There's a torso and a leg and then a torso. Torso, yeah. <laughs> this is the goofy. Wait, he's just got a fight. torso? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all that's left? Yeah. Okay. Like a do? slinky. Oh god. It is gonna bend back. <gasps> you just hear <laughs> In a last ditch attempt to kill anything, it throws itself at a civilian. What? The one that it hit. Yeah. A civilian <laughs> pierces its torso. Uh, against the wall to one of the civilians, and all of them are now like sur- uh, one at the very left because oh. he bit that one. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, that one just gets <laughs> pierced up against the wall, and then as it like detaches, sinks down to the ground, pool of blood. And the rest of them are just like looking over and just like hands covering their faces, just all screaming and just um, in absolute horror. Uh, that's their turn. <laughs> I literally just. Yeah. I'm What are you doing? Get you. I attack the torso. Can I hit it first? Go ahead. Hmm? Can I hit it first? As long as you get near me. Okay. 13 plus 8. That hits. But I can disengage. You may away. not need to. I think yes. yeah, as long as Ornan kills it in one blow. 13 plus 8. This, that hits. That was 2. Yeah. What are you, oh. you doing? Who are you Googling? I mean, uh, the torso. Who's a piece of shit. I'm talking about the dude that's on my ass right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get there. I uh, have 11 points out. Yeah, that's just enough. Clean the oh, thing in half and it is dead. It Remind me what type of limb number one is. Uh, like, hind leg. That's hilarious. That yeah. works perfectly. I am going to just, just blood, like just blood. <laughs> Hey, look, we're twins! And I take my leg off, and I burn, and I try to pass. Make an attack roll. This is the fucking greatest idea. I'm mad. What's the modifier on my leg? Unarmed strike. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> it should be a monk. I balk. It's a 19 plus <laughs> 7. It should just be a monk. Home run. Leg. Eight. Points of damage? Yeah. I think it's still alive. Yes. Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, round two. Can we add a grapple feature to your leg? <laughs> <laughs> you shoot it and then it retracts. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Just, That's what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could add a puzzle thumbs really on cool it. Really cool ideas if yeah. I want to. Yeah, just like Nero. What's the what's the guy's name? I don't remember the guy's name, but the guy who made Clement it. Clement Brattlebore. If we ever talk to Clement, we got some cool Brattle ideas. Brattlebore. Yes. I want to ask him to make it like fully rotatable. So, like a drill foot? <laughs> not like that, but like if I need to like kick somebody, yeah. like if you normally your leg would like if you go to kick like this. Uh-huh. If I miss, I just spin it and kick oh. him again. Like that would be, but not with my heel with the toe again. Like that was like two cool. seventy degrees. Uh, so second attack. Um, Another night. Wow. That is. Ba da ba boom pow. Six. That does it. <laughs> Splat. <on the> ground. <laughs> Pop it back on. One last torso, which is standing beside you, you Mirage. And Jesus Christ, I'm strong. I'll just use right. my movement to get up here. That works because I was going to move towards you. Hello. I guess I'll shocking grasp. That's uh, Go ahead. Go, Mirage, go! Kill it! <laughs> Kill it with fire! Will go, Mirage, go! Yeah. <laughs> Will go, go! Is Johnny, go! Fucking... Damn. Yeah, Huzzah. that is uh, 21. That is. Awesome. 2d8. 2d8. 
I will kill. Dara demands it. And the snake fucking race, they demand it. Alright, nine. Uh, nine. Uh, what is lightning? I didn't think it's we damaged up. this one. Still it's still it kind of goes limp for a second, <laughs> kind of like it like bends over, and then it stands up straight again. It's still alive. I can't do it. I can do something. I know. It's still How? Is there, there anyone moves? else who can still go, Dara? Yeah, I still have to go. You oh. said you're doing something now. Oh no, I said I can do something. Oh, if next you round. Don't, if uh, you don't kill it. Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm a fucking wolf. If you un- unfurify yourself, but unfurify I don't yourself. think we're done yet. No, no, I know, but that's I mean, why I'm saving my rages. And I'm on my I... last one. Mm-hmm. And okay. Uh, being a wolf shape is temporary. Hit I'm gonna do the only thing I should do at this very moment. <laughs> I'm going to utilize bloom. <laughs> <laughs> And fucking everyone, barring you, obviously. <laughs> so yeah. myself, you, you, and the civilians all gain five temporary HP. Ah, oh. good for you yeah. guys. It ain't much. So, um, with Bloom attached to you, as you like step on the ground, um, that entire area becomes like this grassy green meadow with like flowers that pop out of the ground. Um, all of you just feel like you're shielded by this life energy that surrounds you. Question. Yeah. At any point did I, re- I can't remember whose limbs belonged where and which ones I killed. At any point did I reduce a creature to zero hit points? Mm-hmm. Okay, I get temporary HP. <laughs> oh, more. Well, it doesn't stack. Oh. You can only have one source of temporary HP at a time. Mm. So I don't know okay. which one's going to be greater for you. Technically, you, yeah, you only would have gotten one because you did kill that creature. You got a rally system. But... Then I'll take what I would have gotten. Yeah, I basically have this aura. Yeah. Because it's higher. Okay. Is that everyone's turn or Dare, did you want to do something else? Un- unfortunately, I am a wolf and yeah. that's all I can do. I'll cool. Go. Okay. I will. So. I will. Um, <laughs> This thing is just gonna try to stab you, Mirage. It's just gonna bend its body and then, like a rapier, just poke at you. Leave her alone. I should have. No. Shield. (laughs) Yeah. Forgot to do it. I forgot to. Seventeen. Mage armor. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Six points of piercing damage as it pierces right into your body. Yeah, but it's, I did, but I forgot shield to. is not going to get you higher than 17 without mage armor. I forgot to put on mage armor uh, when we jumped into this. How okay. much am I taking? Six points of piercing. Where are you at? 29. And you're at? I'm still 14. Old. That's its turn. Well, so that's, that's your guys' turn. I'm still to get out. mama beef. Uh, wolf. Shit. Uh, how is it? Is it me turn over? Yes. It's yes. Right. Remind me how high up the roof is. 15. Oh, okay. Never mind. There is that little cart there, though, that if you want to okay. run up it, you can. I'm going to throw my hand dives at it. Okay, go ahead. Rip Seeker's Way! Rip Seeker's Way! Run, 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 That hits. Run, 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 run! Run, 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 Six. It's still up. Dope. Yeah, it is the torso, so it probably had the majority of the. Yeah. Damn. And I, I can't retrieve my hand me. axe. I uh, you bring it down. I can't do words, but I have a theory as I to why. I think I know what you're thinking. <laughs> can't word. Okay. I think that's what, what are we doing? Do. Uh, One hand axe pierces its body. Mirage, <laughs> can you just throw that down? <laughs> With 40 feet of movement, can I get up onto the roof, like, within 10 feet of that fuck? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, 10 feet. Rope back. Yeah. Go ahead. Kill it. Yeah. Uh, 15 plus 7. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Huzzah! Huzzah! No, 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 no. This thing lives. Uh, 7 points of damage. Yeah. 
hit it with the rope dart. How do you want to do it? Okay. I will get. I will throw it with such force that, that it splits because it's super skinny, right? Mm-hmm. Or it's like humanoid, mm-hmm. but it's just scrawny. Very. Okay, I will throw it with such force that the dagger goes through it, mm. and then I will pull it away from Mirage and just unsure if it's dead or not. I just. Just start beating the just shit hear out of it. it. Crack and just splatter on the ground. All right, you guys are out of initiative now. Um, all the civilians who are like looking down at the dead body, one of them like <gasps> kneels beside him, just starts like sobbing over oh the body. Um, and then like in the very nearby distance, you just hear yeah, I, 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 I. <laughs> Uh, and more of these creatures are still around, so all of them kind of like look around, afraid, not knowing like what to do. Um, Ambrose, okay. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck's Ambrose? Ambrose has been in the oh, background. He's, he's there. <laughs> this bitch. That's the time when we need you most. Bitch. Put a couple like Elvis Blast in there, you know. So he just missed every shot. Every he just missed every time. It's okay. All right, so His arms a with all the civilians up. still here and scared, um, clo- not super close by, but you would be able to hear it. You hear a horn sound off. Oh. Um, Dara, you. This sounds very familiar to you, as this whole kind of horn is used. Or you might know this too, maybe. This is a like. Um, a horn or a sound that someone would like blow if they need help. It's very different from like Dara's Karenix, which is supposed to strike fear into people. Um, this one's like, hey, I we need help. I feel like other tribes like, would have had it. Like, it mm-hmm. is like being yeah. separated. Yeah, when you're from, like, like hunting around, another, yeah. you would use yeah. it. So, yeah, Dara and Ornan, you two would know this kind I of star sound. I'm booking it you're, to wherever that sound you're is. Gonna stay up here, you're getting off then. I'm off. already off of you. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I My hear bad. that and I just boom, and I start running. Okay. Yeah, same. Because immediately for both of us, we're like, shit! <laughs> I just, I'm just gonna see you guys run. I just hit Bark! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bark! Hit that! As I'm like running. More of them. Okay. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going off of the roof. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Just take it easy with the stab wound. No, no, not easy. No, ow. <laughs> ah, ow. Fuck. Okay. Let's go. I should have yeah. said jump into my arms with you, lady. Yeah. Where are you? Okay. As you guys are running through this town, this has just become a battlefield. Uh, you see more of these creatures skittering around, running, uh, terrorizing other civilians. You see that there are also what appears to be like the town's guard also fighting these creature. Um, they all are wearing kind of like um, what appears to be um, like a steel colored armor but it doesn't look like metal. You're not able to get a super good look, but you can definitely tell that whatever armor they're wearing, it's not steel, but it kind of looks like it. It's weird. Um, They all have like shields uh, still made of the same color, but you can definitely tell that these things look like they were ripped straight off of a tree. Um, They are fighting off these creatures. You can hear a lot of them yelling, get back to the inner sanctum, retreat to the inner wall. as you guys are running as well, you'd see these creatures like on top of the roofs, just kind of like looking out. I, 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 in a sanctum, master the man. <laughs> and they all like <clears throat> start conglomerating Ew. towards the center of town. Um, you guys keep running towards the sound of this horn. Um, as you uh, finally approach where this horn is coming from, uh, you would be able to see. <laughs> So what you guys see as you enter yet again, kind of like a um, different alleyway, a bunch of the houses near here seem to be just destroyed. There's just a whole bunch of rubble, uh, smoke and dust flying up. Um, When you approach the sound of the horn, you can see what appears to be almost like uh, the same type of creature as these things were, but 
bigger. This thing is on four legs. It has a almost snake-like body um, and its head, there's three of them. <gasps> three almost serpent dragon-like heads. Um, each one of them have that same like bat uh, head with those big, these ones have like big, almost like fish eyes, but they're white. <laughs> and that tail forks off in those two like little prongs at the very end, and it is just <laughs> as it um, looks down at these these two, you see like a six foot eight, um, oh my God, what color is he? <laughs> um, six foot eight, fuck, uh, copper dragonborn in full like paladin armor. Um, he is blowing that horn and he is protecting what appears to be like a gnome behind him wearing like a druid outfit. Um, the druid is holding like a staff and is just terrified of this thing in front of him. The copper dragonborn like throws down the horn and like picks up his mace and shield. Don't worry, I got this. Um, and then um, when this thing roars, you uh, hear clink, clink. Two more of these uh, creatures appear on the roof above it and drop down. And the big ones? Two more, small ones. Two more than a little bit. <gasps> <gasps> is that? It's a, is that the grim no, ring? Uh, is it a false picture? Nope. Okay. Uh, the, the mini? <laughs> this one is going to be. Specifically the mini, not the creature itself. Uh, so, no. Okay. Where is the other? That looks really familiar. Where is the, that one? Oh. Can you put it right yep. beside him? On this one? Yeah. Okay. He's gonna be forward. Oh, more. forward, sorry, my bad. Like up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very like, good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that is what you see in front of you. Go ahead and make initiative rolls. Woo! Are you fucking joking? Twice in a row, I rolled an out one on initiative. I'm free. I did that earlier, so oh, now I'm fine. I took it first. for you. I want to use the new move. Fight. How about the woo woo? Okay. It's not going to be a Fuck. 14. That's what I call Beats. Hornin. 22. Fails. Succeeds. They go first. Amazing. Fuck. Okay. okay. I am so. These things are gonna go first. And the big one is going to move and immediately attack the paladin. Hey, no. Okay. Hey, leave my paladin alone. The first I head. Let me kiss him. You see the head on in the middle raise up and you see like a purple rune just like f- form at its mouth. And then one at the paladin, and I believe this just happens. That's disgusting. Okay. Yeah, no, we just leveled up, but we are level five. (laughs) Correct. (laughs) That's only half of ten. (laughs) We can do anything. Oh, it's a stun can get some kind of condition. That's that purple rune. Yeah. Please yeah, thank you. What man? This one? On the yeah. paladin guy, big dragonborn yeah, guy. Um, okay, there is like purple runic symbols around the paladin. He kind of like looks down on himself and goes, "Oh shit." Um, okay, second head uh, is gonna bite. Be able to save this guy. Oh, I think that hits. Yeah. You okay. You can decide that it doesn't. Head whips out and just takes a big bite out of him. Um, he tries to put up his shield, but it like wraps around and like takes a bite out of his arm. Um, okay, and the third head. After it bites, the third head is going to extend and try to constrict him. Oh, Oh, it's caught in between an eight and a natural 20. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. It's between a 19 and a, what? Fuck you. you. Fuck you. (sighs) Okay. Oh, yoy 
What the fuck is going on? My dice. It's. It's. Kimi wa suda ni shinderu. That hits again? No! Okay, no! sweet. <laughs> the neck wraps around the paladin and picks him up and just, you hear it squeeze and you hear his arm like um, Okay. He is now grappled by one of the heads. Y'all need the back. And it's considered restrained. Can I hit him with the tidal wave first? Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of shit. That the get. other two are going to well, like, run forward and try to attack the I druid. Can go up to thirty feet long. Up uh, to 10 would feet the other one be able to from back here? Uh, up to ten feet high. Uh, they flexible. can move up to yeah. thirty feet. Them, so I'm getting made. It would have range. to get. It have to go this way. Is that fine? Yep. It would hop over. Like yeah. this. Okay. Cool. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, you fucking dipshits. <laughs> you fallen right into my trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First attack will hit. Okay. Yeah, if, you do, if you Wow. If you mother yep. serpent that fuck. Yep. And then you and then I do my shit. <laughs> mother is mothering. Yes. Yeah. Mother serpent is The mother's slithering. feasting. Mother is slithering. Yes. The mother is waving. The mother is waving. I keep feeling a sneeze wanting to come on and it won't. It's mm -hmm. making me really upset because I want to get the sneeze out. Like normally, I would try to just invoke it, but it won't leave me alone. It was. It keeps taking me. Um, Eighteen. Plus two. Like a D6. Moment, and I just, I was like holding a bag of frosting. I just went twice <laughs> through it. Like, Who wants saw that? So I was like, I like, hello. <laughs> Checking. Um, What's going on in that? Big brand of you. Two eighty nine. Okay, perfect. All right, that's all of their turns. Go. Go. Your turn. I'm gonna back you. <laughs> Six. Perfect. It's a tidal wave. It'll be uh, thirty feet long, or thirty feet long. Okay. Ten feet wide, so it'll hit all of these guys. All three of them. Mm -hmm. Does it just keep going, or can you stop it at a certain point? I can stop it because it says up to thirty feet long. Okay, to, got it. Yeah. So it's gonna hit all three of them. Very yeah. good. And so it's got a path a. Uh. Each creature in that area must make a dex saving throw. And I want to use the meta magic heightened spell on this one so it has disadvantage. The on big that. one? Yeah. Okay, big one is going to go first. Disadvantage. What's the DC? 14. Both of those pass. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, Fuck. the other two guys. First one succeeds. Other one. What's the DC? 14. 14. I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, fails. Cool. So only one of them fail. Do you do half damage? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, the ones, yeah, the ones that failed are knocked prone. Okay, so one of them's knocked prone. Um, yeah, so this is 48 bludgeoning. Okay. Five, seven, eight, uh, 15. 15 bludgeoning. And do they, does it do a hot damage to those that save? Yeah. So and it's just a tidal wave, so it, it attacks the entire thing, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, 15 in total to one, and then it's seven to the others. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, okay. Uh, all right, here's what happens. So the one that fails, what it looks like, um, it, it kind of looks like a spider in a way where its body is kind of like horizontal to the ground and its front legs kind of bend at a really sharp angle and so do the back ones. They're like almost parallel to each oh. other. And He's then disgusting. its head is just like, just attached to the torso. There's no neck or anything. Oh. So it's like head, torso, and then like legs. Oh. Um, and then what the other one looks like. Mm -hmm. Ground breath, that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so the other one does have like a humanoid torso with a neck um, and neck and head, but the all its limbs, like its legs and arms are like below where they should be. So like its arms are like below their ribs and their legs are right underneath that. And they're like crawling on each of their limbs. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, Say that one more time. What? Say that again? Just say it again. Humanoid torso with like normal like human neck head. Yeah. Um, then it has like its arms oh, that are sure. below its ribs and then its legs are right below that and it's crawling on the ground with all four limbs. Freak! You need, freak! We need to lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make sure he away. What? You, you, fit for the day. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be you. Yeah. That's fair. Um, oh so you have the spider looking one uh, with seven for the other two yeah. and then 15 for that one. Yeah. So the spider guy just explodes. Oh, really? With the tidal, tidal wave and he just oh, like a Lego, just yes. cling, cling, cling. Yes. It's like all the limbs. <laughs> They're all detached from each other nice now, but they all got back up. Oh, okay. That's nice and simple. That was all detached, it's okay, it's fine. So, uh, that's not good though. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, I just, like, we'll keep them. We'll keep them there. All the limbs okay. are conglomerated in the same area, but they are all detached from it now, and they yeah, all just like just stand up. Couple the number of enemies. Yeah. So he just like its head falls to the ground, it's and he just fine. oh oh help me. <laughs> okay. I don't like that they and, know that that's oh that made me full six. Like it wasn't the now whole comfort. All your fault. All your and fault. For reference, because I. Uh, for the guardian's hand, that follow-up big thing. Yeah. How big is the hand again? Uh, large. it's it's not large, but like it's of a large creature. <laughs> Can I, like, grab a full person, or is it like? Yeah, think of like giant's hand. Like how big that would be. Okay. Would so be big, but not that big. Yeah. Okay. So like it could wrap its like arm or fingers around like a small torso. Like these. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. These things are fucking Twig. twigs yeah. to it. So I want to have the guardian hand, like just like interlock. Like, you have to hit with a spell. You have to hit with the spell first. Uh, hit with the spell. Oh, you want to yeah. use it after tidal wave? I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Big mama ma. Yeah. Which one did you want to hit? Uh. Fuck, um. So. There's one with all five body parts, or there's one fully intact at the moment. Um, I think we'll go for the fully intact one. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Or, wait, that one's gonna break up into other body parts. Yes, it will. Fuck. Most likely. Mm -hmm. um, now, it depends. Tidal Wave was a full body thing. Mm -hmm. You okay, could so potentially... Da damage to all the different parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you wanted to, you could try hitting specific parts with just the arm. Up to you. Uh, fuck, I don't want to like make even more than I already did. Um, I think I'll just go to one of the limbs. Okay, but it doesn't automatically hit. There's still one more thing you have to do. You gotta roll the hit? Nope. Did you read what it has on there? Creature has to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, yes, yes. So what's the DC? 14. Natural 20. Fuck. <laughs> so unfortunately, it will not hit. Can't wait. Okay, good attempt, though. Yeah. Uh, next. All right, yeah. Who's up next? Me. 
What are you doing? I'm trying to do something stupid. Would I be able to, cause getting to it's 20 feet. So getting like technically like a running head start and then doing like an athletics or acrobatics check to try to get on top of it. Sure. And hit it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or, sure, sure, sure. It'll be, your that action will be a part of your movement. If you fail, that's your entire movement. Okay, and then if I fail, I'm just gonna swing at it. Um, uh, athletics or acrobatics? To get on top of it, it'd be acrobatics because it's a moving thing. We'll, we'll just, we'll fucking try. We'll fucking try. I believe in you. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Yeah. 17? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, and yeah. then. You're able to monster hunter this thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Would I be able to extend like the other like 20 feet of moment to try to get up to its head? How much did you move? I'd say like 20 feet. Five. Yeah. You'd be if you were right there, yeah, getting up to the, its five, tail would be twenty. Twenty. Jump. You're with the check. You'll be on its back. Any other additional movement is going to be oh, okay. considered difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to start. <laughs> okay. Start go ahead. Hacking away at Make it. Make attacks. Okay. Did seventeen? To the big boy. Yeah. No. Oh, we're so far. Please let there be a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Know. Can I right do the bonus action? Okay. Before my second hit. You had your move action, you had one hit, and then you did your bonus action. So you get one more. And you get then, one more hit if you want to. I'm going to reckless attack. Okay. The so gimmick gets, is the architect's severed hand appears. <laughs> it says, hey, I can do that too. You're coming with me. <laughs> hey, I need that Rikers speed real quick. You're coming with me. <laughs> 19 to hit. 19 hits. Oh. So it's gotta be like 18 and 19. 18 or 15. <laughs> okay. Nice. 13 points. Hell yeah. Of damage. Damage. I'm hoping this is one of those creatures where it's very hard to hit, but it's not very strong. <laughs> yeah. 17 doesn't hit. 13 yeah, points to uh, its I'm torso. I have like maybe a one and three. Yeah, one and yeah we'll go torso. Cool. Okay, yeah. You yeah, hack right into its torso. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do, um, two of the heads just Foof, foof, look at you. Yeah. Oh. I want it. I want those eyes on me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> One of the the other creatures just foof, looks up and sees you on there. <laughs> oh, I, I, I. I'm going to need some up here. I need to stay on it. Okay. I need to uh, stay on it. Well. All right. What are you guys doing? Who's next? What are we doing? I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if I want to try to do. I did my dumb thing, so. It was a cool dumb thing. Bonus action alert. Bop. Is this rug just like debris that's on the ground? Yes. Is it big debris that I have to crime crime over? Crime over. To climb over. You gotta crime over it. Uh, you gotta commit crime. Not anymore. <laughs> Damn it again. Nah, I can't Help! Again. It's again. Shit! I didn't think I was gonna have to tap into that this soon. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can I can get up in his shit. Are you also gonna get up in this shit? Uh, not like up in this <laughs> shit, but up, up in this shit. shit. Uh, not get up in this shit, but up in this shit. Get it, got it, get it. Um, get it, got it, get I, on big boy, I go pop, 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 pop. You said on top? No, just 
At big boy. Oh, at, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, 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 top. Where Hitting it in its ass. So torso. Let's consider torso. Punching its ass. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now here's the question. Uh, asking the masses. I have two key points left. Should I go flurry of blows while I have the chance? Or should I hold on to them? Because I was thinking like I just go all out and I do normal attack, normal attack. <laughs> Bonus action, flurry of blows, hit it two more times. So you uh, could hit it four times I if I hit all of them. <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to unwild shape as much as I don't want to. Oh, okay. dear, no! Someone has to keep you fucks alive, and no one else is physically capable. <laughs> what is it an action to unwild? Bonus action. You could... Chomp it. Well, there's a reason I'm not. Okay. I'm going to use my channel divinity again to preserve life. Okay. For you guys. Okay. Oof. For those two? Yeah. Okay. It's not a lot. Greg. <laughs> I feel preserved. Barbarian. Okay. So then, should I just go whole hog? Yeah, go whole hog. Okay, I'm going to go whole hog. Okay. So first attack. Shield of Faith. Um, I I don't have enough fucking spell slots. Twenty three or concentration. Hit to hit. Yeah, it hits. If I did twenty three damage, I want you to twenty. <laughs> okay. Because there's sure. no way. Yeah. No, I don't mean like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can do. Uh, nine points of damage. Second attack. Okay. Whoa. With your first attack, you punch it, and you feel the energy of your blow ripple through this body. As that happens, you just hear the four limbs that it was carrying the body just pop off, and so do all three of its heads just as this torso just falls to the ground, destroyed. Then I I add the fucking limb that's closest to me. I hit it. Do you want me to re-roll or... I rolled a 14 on the die, plus eight. That hits. Okay, I just don't know if you wanted me to do that again, because I did not. No, that's fine. To roll, my apologies. Another nine points of damage. Okay. the limbs. Yeah. And then I will use a key point to do flurry of blows. <laughs> Ooh, there's no way that's a uh, 16. Doesn't hit. Uh, 17 plus eight. That hits. Eight points of damage. That was. Is it a leg? Like? 15. So 15 in total? Yeah. That leg is destroyed. Amazing. Fuck. So three legs and three heads. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Plus five from that guy and then the whole body of the other one. That guy. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I was just talking about the big boy. Yeah. Yes? Webin, are the. Is the paladin still restricted, restricted by the heads? Yes. Okay, so the torso is non-functional, but the heads yeah. are. So the heads are now acting like separate serpents. Like okay. they all like, <laughs> and they. <laughs> each okay, one cool. kind of like cool. looks at each other for a second, and then <laughs> all look towards Ornan, which is still standing on top <laughs> of the torso. <laughs> okay, so, so it is one. now the paladin and druid's turn. Is it all you guys went? No. Dara? No. Where did Dara. you do uh, as much as I don't want to do this, I'm going to use my bonus action to unwild shape. Okay. And then I will move up as well to about here. Yeah, just keep going up. Bye. Goodbye. Uh, and then I'm going to use my action to use my general divinity, preserve life. Mm-hmm. Eight HP for you and seven for you. Ooh, so one more cool. Eight oh. HP for you. Thank you so much. It ain't much, but it's the best I can do. I appreciate it. For now, at least. Running out of shit I can do. Oh, I'm up to 36, yeah. Wisdom saving. I am now at 22. Ooh. <laughs> With seven temporary. I feel so bad for having 49 hit points. So I currently But I have, have all three of the fucking serpents looking at me and I'm like yeah. an accumulated total of twenty nine hit points including my time. Uh, she's just standing there just thirty eight technically. You are so close to my HP and I'm not even The like, gnome so druid um who is cornered by <laughs> 
five whole ass limbs and a full creature. Um, he like, you see just horror on his face and he's just frozen in fear, but he's able to steal himself and he takes his staff and just with one hand, uh, you see the staff glow with life energy, Dara, before he <laughs> slaps the shit out of one of them. Oh, hey, I know that spell. Whoa! in the his house. All right, do I have a D eight here? I do. Well, still the same. Okay, he smacks the shit out of uh, the one like full body one that's like crawling towards him on all four, um, and he like hits it and it just. <clears throat> looks back towards him again and is gonna like try to like hop towards him and try to like grapple him with all four of its limbs um okay it is now the paladin's turn who can i believe get out of the constriction uh is grappled escape dc 15 okay well you can try to escape are you a strong paladin? You should be. <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> well, up. He is very strong. He is able to break free. Um, he sees you guys rushing to help him, and as he's like constricted, he goes, "What? I appreciate your help. I got this. I got this." And he just like breaks free, and he like drops down, and then immediately just yeah. tries to smack up the, the snake head. Yeah. Which he does? Yes, he does. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Um, one of the heads that was constricting him like looks back down at him. He just um, and its jaw like cracks and goes off to the side, just dislodged. Um, Is he gonna smite? Huh? Is he gonna smite? Uh, no. Okay, that is both of those turns. Okay. It is now everything's turn. I hate that. <laughs> okay, so enemies. no. Yeah, that's good. I say no. No, 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 no. Three heads. One is gonna. That's right, I need to bring up its uh, things that it can do. Please, where'd you go? Oh god. Help. Help me, please. Oh, I found it. Okie dokie. Um. Okay, one of the the head, uh, I think it was the one in the middle that casted that runic spell. Yes. Um, it lifts up its head as high as it can go. Uh, you see this like green energy form in its mouth before it <laughs> like Gross. spits out this like um, noxious um, like fume, kind of like fume, but it's just like a line that is <laughs> like a spew of like venom, I guess you could say. Um, it's gonna try to hit Mirage. There. What's uh, your AC? Uh, now it's at 14. Uh, uh, clink, clink. We need to get you on my fucking staff. Shield! Wait, no. That almost so hits, but it does yeah. not. The same with okay, cool. okay, does it do anything that if it thing? misses? No. Mm-mm. Basically. Okay, yeah, you dodge out of the way as this thing spews shit at you. Um, okay, the second head is going to bite uh, Ornan. No. It is not. Uh, third head is going to constrict Ornan. No. Actually, that one might not. <laughs> uh, what's, your, what's your AC? 16. Okay, so that one definitely doesn't hit. Uh, the other one also doesn't hit. That was one below what it needs to. Okay, shit. Um, all right, now it's three limbs. Um, Macau and Orin are the closest. One's gonna attack Macau. Okay. 
Uh, Armor, not proficient. 14? No. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, two are going to attack Ornan. No. Both are going to hit. Uh. 16 points of piercing damage. 16? Shit. Mm -hmm. As uh, the two front arms, like, (laughs) swipe at you. Okay, now it is the disembodied spider guy. Um... It's gonna be a lot of attacks. He's gonna try to. Damn it! He's he's going to try Dare, to grapple Dare, with on one of the arms. I was almost able to enter devouring rage. I didn't give them to you. Yeah, you did. No, oh, yeah. But hey, okay, you're alive. Yeah, and you're being alive. Than being Thirteen healthy. against a. Yeah. Yeah, you can still be grateful that I'm keeping you alive. Oh, okay. The druid is now grappled. Um, by the head? Not the head. Um, oh, no, by the head. One of the limbs uh, 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 grabs onto him, like wraps him around. So there's still four more limbs left. Yeah. Um, so he is grappled. Three limbs simultaneously are going to try to pick up the druid and run away. What? Interesting. Three limbs left, correct. Okay. Okay. All of them succeed in their strength to pick it up. (laughs) So, two arms are wrapped around and the other two act like legs and like hoist this gnome up and then start running away. And so they're going to just move. We'll use this guy. He's just gonna start running. Five, 10, 15. There. Okay. And okay. there's gonna be it. the worry, torso and the head uh, still there. But the gnome is being carried away. Head and torso. Okay. Um. All right, now it's the other one's turn, and it is, uh, it will attack the paladin. Two attacks, none of those hit. Okay. Wonderful, okay, cool. Your guys' turn. No, oh, wait, head and torso will also attack the paladin. Both of those hit. No! <laughs> Okay, the torso like strikes the guy um, like in his hip and the head like bounces up and just (laughs) bites him. Okay. It's giving the the, the little heads that make up the baby in Spirit of the Wedge. All right, you guys' turn. Three limbs left on the big creature. Same with the three heads. And there are four limbs carrying away the gnome, head and the torso, and the other full creature are attacking the paladin. What are we doing? Can I go for the head that skewed the egg? Mm -hmm. The The one in the middle? Yeah, go ahead. The egg. Scared everyone. (laughs) No. That was six on the die. Okay. Damn. Okay. You're a little disoriented after the torso fell. Um, can I? As the oh, gnome no. is like uh, being carried away, the paladin who is really trying to fend off all these creatures just <clears throat> Nakula, stop them! Stop them! We're trying. You said hold on. What's up? Yep. Um, I should have done this instantly, but I'm still deciding. It's okay. Uh, second level, right? Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah. Second level, bless. Okay. So four targets are all blessed. Let me, oh shit, maybe not. Hey! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's range. Barely. 
Ambrose. 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 Anyway. <laughs> Ambrose. Something? Ambrose is in your inventory right now. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's trying to get in my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> blessed, 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 blessed. You said second okay. level blessed? Yeah. Does it do anything? Like, it allows me to target a second. Or more people, yeah. Yeah, another creature. Um, and then bonus action. Uh, let me double check. I don't have any other better I mean, bonus action spells. D4 to attack rolls and saving throws. I think so. Yeah. This third level spiritual weapon doesn't do shit, so I'm not going to waste my spell level on that. So, second level spiritual weapon. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Right here. Pretty cool. Hey. And I am going to strike at one of the many limbs carrying this druid. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Fuck him up, D-Man. D-Gray Man. That's an 18 to hit. Yo. Yeah. Which one are you going for? There are two wrapped around his body, and there are two acting as legs carrying this thing away. Leg. Okay, go ahead. Or, sorry, attack damage. Jesus. I'm not going to be able to kill it in one hit. Fuck. That's just five damage. Okay. Five force damage. Four it seems to be wavering, but it's not, not down yet. And Bless is a d4 to attacks, and... Double saving throws, right? And saving throws, yeah. Okay. Attack roll, saving throw, yep. Slay. And that just lasts um, as long as I have concentration up. Am I able to exist in the same space as your spiritual weapon? Yes. Yes. Okay. Which, let me get a. Uh, will I fuck you up? up if I'm directly in front of the dudes carrying this gnome away? Um. Because no. I can go off to the side if that makes it easier for you. Um. To hit. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Okay, then I will. Because all that. I was thinking was just like firing magic missiles at oh, the period. limbs carrying Play. the guy. Okay. But the guy is yeah, then I can do it. As they say. <laughs> I will do it diagonally. Uh, okay, uh, diagonally. Uh, and excuse me. Uh, and I will. Uh, these limbs. Um, you were beside. One of the limbs, they will get an opportunity attack against you. Just one, though. Dang it. Oh my god. Sorry, I put you in that same position. No, I would have ended yeah. If I moved at all, I would have gone for it. Uh, 16? Are you oh, sure? Beats, beats. 16. Fuck yeah, that hits. Eight points slashing damage okay. as this limb. <laughs> Cool. Cool, 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 okay. Um, and then I will, uh, bop, 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 like a consistent yes set. every single attack roll okay so that's not for damage but for attack roll okay uh 21 the hit yeah oh yeah okay thank you so much um no, I don't know. <laughs> they're all organized i'm like which one is which <laughs> it'll assist um me. nine points of damage to the damage like <laughs> amazing gnome oh. gets dropped by this thing <laughs> more temporary <laughs> There are now Again. three limbs that are ch- 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 and I'll kind of like hop and turn towards you. Okay. And then with my second attack, I will get another one of the legs. Sure. Uh, Fourteen. To hit? Yeah. Does not hit. Fuck. Okay, then bonus action again. <laughs> Again. 16. Hits. Nice. Uh, six points of damage. Still up. But yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. It's damaged. <laughs> Alright. Anyone else? Okay. Orange, did you already go? 
Yes. Miss. I think everyone's ah, Miss. Go, Mirage, go. Alrighty, so. Go, Johnny, go. Go, baby, go, girl, go. go. Yas, queen. Right. Slave boots the house down Houston, okay. mama. <laughs> you guys good if I just like plop a shatter here? Because at first I was thinking of helping the guy who's getting carried away, but it Macau seems like we got that. Macau and a spirit. A spirit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with a shatter. Okay. Because then you could get some of those limbs, that guy, and yeah. the heads. Yeah. As long oh. as you center it to my hip paladin boy. Yeah. And you're good. Yeah, 10 feet, just right here. Yeah, fuck it up. Yeah. Uh, constitution saving throw. I got a pass four. For which Fail. one? Uh, All three of them? Yeah. What's the DC? 14. Fail. Succeed. Fuck. Succeed. Fuck. Uh, number one fails. Number two and the full body uh, succeed. Okay. The 13, 14. Damage? Yeah. To the one that failed? Yes. Dead. And the other ones? Seven each. Okay. Still up. Yeah. Okay. Very good. That's everyone's turn. Apart from the Gnome and Paladin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gnome is, is blessed. Very good. The Gnome freezes in fear and doesn't do anything. Oh, no. Uh, he gets like dropped and he kind of like sits up and like scrambles away. His staff is like five feet away from him and he just <laughs> looks at the staff, looks around him. Everything's in chaos right now and he just sits and doesn't do anything. He is terrified. Uh, Paladin is going to try to punt the uh, torso. Get punted. Oh no, poor man. That doesn't hit. Uh, okay. Oh, please, where are your stats? There you are. Sure, he is going to make two more attacks. Ah! The odds! The odds! Two natural ones rolled. Ooh. Wow! That's so sad. Okay. Um, he tries everything in his power to like hit anything in front of him, but his eyes are locked in the gnome. He's just, Nakoa, I'm coming, hold on. And he's really trying to get over there, but he's not hitting anything. He is, his mind is so scattered right now, just trying to get to the gnome. Uh, okay, that is everyone's turn. Limb number one, the torso is gonna attack the paladin. Does not hit, no it doesn't. Okay, um, full body guy is gonna make two attacks. One of them hits. Okay. All right, uh, that's those two's turn. Uh, there are three limbs left. One of them is gonna try to grapple the gnome. The other two are gonna try to carry him away. Fuck it up. Succeeds. No. I think, oh, hold on. Fuck you, eat ass. No, Gnome succeeds. That was a natural yeah. 20. Let's go. It tries to grapple him, but he's able to push it away. Um, okay, the other two are instead just gonna try to knock him out, so non-lethal damage. Wow! One of them hits, Gnome is still alive. Um, okay, it is now Big Boy's turn. There are three limbs left and three heads, correct? I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here's what it's gonna do. It's two arms that are on the ground start crawling. No. It goes to the torso and it grabs onto the torso and hoists it up. Those arms start to like meld into its body and the three heads slither back and- Ew. You are now looking at this snake-like creature with three heads. Um, its back limb is going to attack um, Ornan, who's there? No. Nope, another natural one. Okay, very cool. Yay. Um, all right, now the three heads. Day. No. One of them is going to You know you can One of them's gonna to be bite nice. Ornan. You could choose to be nice. 16? Needs to be. Okay. 
Wonderful. Like I said, you could choose to be nice and maintain uh, eight all of your Eight points friends. of piercing damage. Uh, second one is going to cast... We're in devouring rage, so that's half my HP. Ooh. Yeah. He's like, just hit my HP. Yeah, I'm down to 30. Huh, where'd he go? There he is. Smash. Time to do some extra attacks. Because now I'm automatically in rage, and now... What a beautiful place to be! Second head. Uh, it opens its mouth and you see that green energy start to form once again. And then its teeth, all of them, glow green. And it snakes its head out and strikes at Dara, biting him. No! Oh. 18 no. to hit. No. No. It misses. It misses. My AC is 19. Suck my ass. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> 18 doesn't hit. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it tries to bite out at you and it completely whiffs and you see that so green energy way. like uh, fade away and both of its eyes just like look at you and just <laughs> I will break your soul. No. <laughs> I hate you. Um, okay. <laughs> Third head is gonna try to constrict Ornan. No. Wow. We Scooby Doo. Twelve doesn't it? Manifesting works, guys. Fuck. If you just yell no. Did its I... other limb attack? Did I attack? I think I did. No idea. I don't At this point, remember. There's so many enemies and I can't see any of them. I can't keep track of this shit. Yeah. No, it didn't, I don't think, because it could form together again. Okay, that one's going to attack Ornan. Epic. No! Doesn't hit. Jesus Christ, Yay! these guys suck. Okay, that's their turn. There are three limbs left that was trying to carry the gnome. There are the, the back leg of the big creature, and then the torso with the three heads are all one body now. And then you have the torso of the one by the paladin and the still full body of the other creature. Your guys' turn. What's our game plan here? <laughs> I, I have one move at the very moment. Amazing. Well, I have two attacks, and then I was going to spend two hit die to attack two more times. Um, I have the... Obviously, I have my normal two attacks. I'm going to take a quick move and just do my bonus action longsword. Not longsword. Spiritual weapon. weapon? Yeah. There you go. You got I got you. Buddy. Somewhere right. in the Riftlands. And this is going against the limbs. Cool. The air. Whichever or what, are any of them damaged? They were. Yeah, I had a feeling they did that. Fuck, I can't do enough damage in this fight. Anyway, uh, that was... That's a great question. That should still. Oh God, I hope that fucking hits sixteen. Yes. <laughs> Eight. Close. Yeah. Mean? You do damage. Does not go down yet. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and then wait. You were. Oh, you were a spiritual weapon. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah spiritual. Got it. Got it. Got it. Weapon for the masses. Should I use my free nat twenty? No. 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 For Absolutely one reason, not. these things aren't, ne they can't be nuked. Yeah, they can't be nuked. And if also, I could nuke, this would not be a problem. Yeah, and also <laughs> hold on to that fucking thing for when it matters. Um, but unfortunately, these things have like maybe 15 HP. Yeah. yeah. And I don't do that low of damage. I either do nuclear or none. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is like, yeah. I don't even, I don't know. The, yeah, these yeah. gotta be crowd controlled and I do have one more tidal wave. Yeah, yeah you've got tidal, crowd control and magic missiles, the fucking shit. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna attack twice okay. on the head that's doing the magic okay. shit. So. The spewy, 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 spewy. Yep. Yeah. The smelly, smell, the smell, smelly. Seven 
plus eight. Nope. Nat 20. That hits. <laughs> Sweep. Oh, I, I get an ad- additional damage die. Oh, this is oh, your half work, so brutal, brutal critical, yeah. <laughs> so that and should be three. It's damage die. The first one missed. All oh, right, you do your critical stiff. How do you do your critical? Yeah, how do you do a brutal critical if you do your doubling? Brutal critical is just an extra die; it doesn't yeah. double it. So it's like a it's like your bonus one. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. So you deal your damage, double that, and then roll your extra dice. Okay. Okay. That's that's opening a door in your. <laughs> well, damn. So that's twenty. That's I don't 20. think the head can. Even take that much damage. God damn. <gasps> Plus whatever your rage damage is, which is gonna be fucking ludicrous. Okay, hold on. We're just what, what, gonna. Chris, what's hold your strength? On. Hold. <laughs> hold on. Because it. Thirty six. Yeah, you cleave that middle head straight yeah, off and it just that's falls that's to the ground and like that one last kind of like death row just kind of like coils up and you hear it. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I'm going to extend. Extend. Two hit die. Okay. I'm gonna attack two more times. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, now. I'm gonna use on, one this attack for one. Okay. When? You got advantage last time, and I didn't use it. Uh, I totally forgot that. You should reuse advantage. reckless attack for both if you're gonna have disadvantage anyway. Yeah. Sure. Fuck it. It literally you doesn't well. impede you any further. It's Is free there advantage. any other head that has taken damage? Doesn't look like it. I don't think the other two have taken damage at any point. They also heal. Yeah. I, I, but I but I don't think they took any damage. Anymore. No, I don't think they did. So they hear for nothing! Mm. Well, technically they would have. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, true. What have the other two heads been doing? Biting and constricting. I'm gonna go for the one that's been biting the most. Okay. Okay. Nice. 18 on the die. Plus eight. Mm-hmm. Seven. Yeah. Fifteen on the die plus eight. Then it's okay. Huzzah! Oh, Huzzah! Seventeen points of damage to the head. Okay. Yeah, you cleave into it, but it's not enough to take it down. Ooh. So it's kind this of like crazy. it's, it's j- like you. Cleave into it like a tree, and it seems like it's like bending over, but it's like just barely hanging on. There's like sinewy, like black, like muscles that are like hanging on to it. I also have been, I haven't been reducing my damage, but that's fine. Huh? Four. Because. Reducing the damage? Or not reducing my damage, reducing the damage taken because of rage. Uh, I have forgotten. Well, okay. So that's fine. Who's up next? Can I we'll keep going after the limbs that are trying to take the drop yeah. out of the way? Yeah. Because that's going to be a real problem. Ba da ba. Boom pow. Okay. Uh, you, which one did Dara hit of the limbs with the spiritual weapon? Uh, it was one of the legs, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I start with that fucker and move on from there. And I'll let one of the That's a 17 the on the die plus 8. Hits. Okay. I did seven. Ten points of damage. Gone. Amazing. Two Next. limbs left. <laughs> Next one. Second attack. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Fifteen. Hits. 
Thank you. <laughs> you just... <laughs> you saved my life! <laughs> you, you saved my life. Okay, uh, 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 11 points of damage. Gone. Okay, so that's two limbs out of the three? Yep, just one left. D4. No! <laughs> oh. Not even with the D4? No! no. Oh. Wait. Maybe? 11 plus 4? 12. Damn. No. Alright. I rolled like max too. I got 4, so it's just not gonna work. Um, and then with. For, as a free action, I want to ask the gnome. WHAT THE FUCK ARE THESE THINGS?! Doesn't even look at you. He's just terrified, just like thousand yards stared, uh, huffing and puffing on the ground, just sweating bullets right now. His like clothes are like soaked through and he's just... I'm just like <laughs> beating the shit out of the limbs fuck. and then it's just, YOU'RE FUCKING USELESS! And <laughs> I just keep going. <laughs> YOU'RE FUCKING USELESS! Okay. Play into these fucking things. Have you gone? Do I still have my action left as well? Go, mama, go! What are we doing? Go, mama, go! Alrighty, um... Come on, pretty lady, show us what you got! Show me what you got! Show me what you got! Say something inappropriate, though. That's one of my favorite TikToks that I've ever watched. If I hit the big creature, even if Ornan is technically out of the way, does he still get hit? Like if I'm doing a 10 feet wide uh, tidal wave. Uh, Ornan would be cause beside it somewhere. Yeah, I don't think he would be hit. He's no longer on top of it after right the... here. Because I went after one of its heads, so if you're aiming for the heads, that's where I am. Then yeah, yes. Then yes, he would hit me. Are you able to I can't Can you still move? I would just go with a missile personally. Um, I guess. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and nuke it now that I know the heads have a lot of fucking health. Mm-hmm. I am right, so praying I'm... to the gods it does not like. Uh, radiant? Radiant damage. Mm. Alright, um. Okay, I will. Use subtle spell because I do want an arm to come out. I'm gonna do a magic missiles to have. Uh, you're gonna do subtle spell. Yeah. Okay, then you can't do the arm because that's a meta magic option. Yeah, subtle spell is a metal meta magic. Yes, yeah, so you can't use the the guardian's hand if that's what you're doing. Is it one or the other? Yes, because mm-hmm. the Guardian's Hand is a meta magic option, so if you use Subtle Spell, I don't think you can use it. Oh, okay. Spell. I thought it was a follow-up to using a meta it, magic. It's a follow-up to using a spell. Uh, That's the okay. meta magic okay. ability that that okay. is. Okay. But you can only use Subtle Spell, um, whatever other one you have, or I Guardian's use. Hand. Okay. Those are the options that you have, but you can only choose one of them when you cast a spell. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll cast the risk. Good to know. So I can use the Guardian's action plus a spell. Is that what you're saying? When you use the meta magic option on a spell while you are holding or wearing the shard, you can read. Oh! Have I been reading that wrong? I thought it was when you cast a spell, you use... When you use a meta magic option on a spell while you are holding or wearing the shard, you can cause the ethereal arm to rip through the shard and strike one creature you see within 30 feet of you. So it's when you use the meta magic. 
I thought it was its own meta magic ability. That is my fault. So yes, you so can use subtle that? spell and then the arm can Hell come out. Yeah. Okay, my bad. I g genuinely thought it was use spell and then it comes out and it's its own meta magic ability. Okay. My fault. My bad, boss. Sweet king. <laughs> all right, so we'll have all of, I'll have all, yeah, I'm doing uh, the magic missile at level one. Okay. So. I will have all of them go towards whatever limb is left carrying the the gnome. I think there were one left because yeah, you yeah, destroyed two. One there's, yeah, there's one left. Did that one take damage? No, no, because Macau missed. Okay, all of them are going into that one. Very good. Well, huzzah! I've been rolling dick for damage today. Yes. Jeez. One, two, three, eight. Eight, eight force. Still up. Oh my god. So it's gonna live. All right. I oh. hate these things. Oh, all right. I'm gonna have the arm come out. <laughs> and when is it gonna strike? That same fucking thing. Just pull it off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just you don't have to. You don't even have to roll damage because with three d six, it is gonna kill it. Nice. Um, so yeah, the arm rips through space and just <laughs> grabs it, squeezes it like an orange, and yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> Hell it is yeah, obliterated. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For flavor, just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. And then it just kind of like backs <laughs> up and fades away. Yeah, it's fucking fabulous. Yeah. Totally All just right. That creature gold is gold. now gone. Giant gold. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Cool. Okay. Okay. It is the uh, gnome's turn. No. I, I no, have my action. action. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, One of the heads is injured, right? Yes, it is. It's hanging on by literal sinewy threads. Yeah, yeah, I don't that. Okay. Um, I love fantasy violence. <laughs> don't we all? Do we have to I can't watch, watch shows where there's real violence because it's freaking out. Okay. <laughs> I can't watch fictional fantasy violence. Like Game of Thrones, even then it's a bit violent. I shouldn't even go to the heads. But if also, we don't kill it, it, it really heal. just heals. Get it. Go for the unnamed. No, ah! you're missing the point. We must delete the parts. We have to completely delete them. Yeah. We can't just... There's a head, another head, its back limb, its torso technically, and then the full body of the other one. Okay, so my options are a save, which could be fucked. Cry. Or a nuke. Cantrips as druids and clerics are stupid. You got this. Okay, I'm You're gonna, gonna fuck gonna him up. Do none of the above. I'm gonna move here. I think I can. And it's, it's back limbs. It's no, not I attached to the big can't. creature. Will attack you. Yeah, well, I'm fucking not doing that because I realized I don't have a bonus action, so I can't. I will pray. I need a wisdom saving throw from the head. Was it easy? 14. Fails. <laughs> oh, thank God. You know, very smart. It's not very wise. Damn. Seven necrotic. Seven no. necrotic? Hold on. That's a lie. But it's a necrotic damage. 17 necrotic because it's damaged. Oh. What spell did you use? Toll the dead. Okay. Fuck. Are you oh. fucking kidding me? Oh, dude. Fuck. <laughs> I have fucking nothing in every fight. Okay. You go ahead and cast Toll the Dead on this thing. Doesn't look like it's affected by it. <laughs> so glad that that's my only fucking cantrip. Yeah. That damages. That's great. That's awesome. All right. Is that everyone's turn? Yeah. Great. Gnome's turn. Wisdom saving throw. Figure it the fuck out. Now. Hey, he's 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 good. Okay. Oh, good God. Run. <laughs> Run. Ugh. Uh, okay. 
he is going to cast Bark skin on himself. He just <laughs> rushes over to his staff, Bark grabs skin. it, and then like holds onto it, and his whole body just <laughs> becomes like enwrapped with this uh, bark like uh, material. And then that is his action. action. He is going to back away uh, over here. And he will take attack of opportunity from the limb. <laughs> All right, so and he takes. He so oh my he god! He runs away, and as he does, um, the back limb of the creature just <laughs> smacks him so hard that he hits the debris on the side of the house and just like collapses to his knees. Um, he's still alive, but he looks. <laughs> Real bad. Oh my god, he's useless. <laughs> Nakola, don't worry, I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, he's gonna try to. Um... Uh. What the fuck is this? Mm. What was he taught? I guess what is this fucking pallet <laughs> water at this rate? What are his values? Know. Why is he like this? Okay, Why are one you of them, the way you are? One of them hits, the other Why can't one. You be normal? Also hits. Smite! No. Smite! It's gonna smite, hit. smite, 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 smite. The fucking paladin. Use a smite! He's a paladin for fuck's sake! Okay. Damn! Yeah, um, Without even using Smite, just with the full force of his body, is <laughs> clocks this thing. It goes flying back, hits the wall, and drops. All of its limbs <laughs> pops up, but he oh. runs as far as he can. Fuck, get up, bitch. Also, he does not have that ring around him anymore. He's gonna run this way. Bro. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 30. Hit the head. He's gonna run. Why is this paladin so okay. gung ho? That's fucking true. It. He's useless. All right. Um, still want to take attack over two because there. I'm gonna have some fucking words for this paladin. And this that is it. his turn. Okay. Everything else is turn. Yeah. The back limb no. of this creature. Um. Moves around. To, it's gonna be the paladin. I think Dara was near it too. And then Macau will all get opportunity attacks in this thing as it's going to try to make its way up to the head. So go ahead and, and what? make an attack. It's gonna try to absorb it, I think. Fuck. Yeah. And we'll just hit it with hit a fucking six. That's legit all I can do. 17. Doesn't hit. 17 doesn't hit the back leg. Oh, yeah, sorry, it does hit. My bad. Yes. I was like, right. hello? <laughs> I was so it does. scared. Oh, I don't have my fucking step in inventory. Okay. So, why is it early? Apparently, I did not ever add my quarter step to my inventory. Oh, no. Gotta get that quarter step. And then you shillelagh, and then you. I, it's a reaction. Oh uh, yeah, you can't do shillelagh. Why? And my because bonus action is being solely oh, used for. Uh, spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is a nineteen hit actually. Hit period, Dara. Four damage. Okay, with all of you combined, as this leg tries to head up That's towards bad. the heads, <laughs> falls Fuck to the ground. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be the heads' turn now. Let's go. No. Sort down. Both of them no. have advantage on Ornan. No. Disadvantage. Hold on. I want to, uh, oh. disadvantage on at least one of them. Restore balance. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. On one of them. <laughs> Yep. This one already hits though, uh, so that's going to be eight points of piercing damage. This one rolls normally now. So four. That one also hits. 
Uh, Fuck, my bad. Another eight points of piercing damage as both of them. <laughs> so eight in total, because damage halved. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. Um... Damn, damn, <laughs> I've had one single action. One thing. Um, the creature that exploded against the wall with all of its limbs yeah. takes his action, reforms himself. Okay. Oh! That's it. Okay. It's fine. Oh my god. That's fine. Reforms himself. So Come here. 10, 15, 20, 25. Get over here. 30, 5, 10, 15, 20. Ugh, it's gonna just. Fuck. There we go. Right there. That's fine. Okay. Torso is going to make an attack against you, Macau. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I knocked over? Slinky's itself back. <laughs> right into your chest. As it hits you, you then feel like spikes. Like <laughs> That was a natural 20. You take 12 points of piercing damage. <laughs> There's nothing, dude. That is its turn. You guys go. <laughs> I don't have enough fucking healing ever <laughs> to deal with this. Um, immediately, I would like to start wailing into whatever the fuck's in front of me. Cool. You have the torso and the full body of the creature that has its like all four limbs are on the ground and is like okay. skittering around. Should I, should I full form guy or should I torso? Probably torso first and then go full guy. Yeah. Okay. And just okay. completely yeah. get rid of nonsense. <laughs> what? Not the torso. No, the there's a torso and then there's separate the separate limb. Guy. I thought the reform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's a there's yeah. the there's the reform and, and there's, there's a separate torso. one. Oh yeah. God. So. It's fucking confusing. Yeah, <laughs> that's really confusing. Uh, it's a sixteen plus eight. Hits. Seven points of damage. Still up. Second attack. Seventeen. Hits. Eight points of damage. Gone. Okay, cool. Um, should I use my last key point? Yeah, you might as well. Since um, you can't use it for gone. the healing. Oh, okay. Um, Floria blows. Um, I want to specifically go for the arms on this dude. Okay, go ahead. Nope. Okay. Would you say that's caught? No, I don't. I can't. If you think it is, then roll again. Because I'll take it with what I see. I just don't. Doesn't it's look up to you. From it's a me. nineteen. That hits. Okay. It was mildly cocked, but I, it was. You could shake that tree and pounce it. <sighs> Damn it. Six. Still up. No kidding. <laughs> Okay. Uh, bonus action to hit that same limb. Go ahead. All right, we're locking in, guys. Fuck me. Are you for real? <laughs> he didn't see it. Do it again. <laughs> that was... He didn't see it. He didn't see it. He can't see it. He can't see it. Do it again. How would he know? How would he know? Are you also blessed when you do that? No. Uh, I can choose a certain number of creatures, and I did not choose myself. Fuck. Oh, no, you choose yourself. Because, as we can tell, I don't fucking hit anyway. <sighs> okay, um. Fuck it, we nuke it. Yeah, fuck it up, dude. <laughs> uh, can sh- the biting head, because I'm assuming it's healed itself? Oh, yeah. Okay. This time it's. <laughs> Guiding bolt. Third level. Period. Fuck this thing. Please, please, please. It didn't go in. It didn't go in. It didn't go in. That's still a fucking roll. It didn't go in. It's like, it's out of the tray. It was not out of the tray. No, re-roll it. It didn't go in the tower. It doesn't count. It it didn't go in the tower. It doesn't count. It's It's not a death and roll. Go in the tower. Re-roll it. Right now. 
I rolled the dice. But it didn't go in the tower. It still landed in the tray. Oh, it's the tower. That's yeah. the whole point of the tower. It doesn't matter either way. <laughs> what? It does. It's not a Devon roll without the tower. If I had a tower and I accidentally missed the tower, I would roll it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Even what are we doing? Even if it was a nat 20, I would roll that again. I'm gonna Amazing. go for the head that I just started to think this is okay. some bullshit, actually. And do you think you're gonna listen to it again? At this point, yeah. Alright. Like, there's literally nothing else we can do, so we just yeah. have to go fucking whole hog. As the fact that we have possible. to kill it in one fucking hit? Yeah. This is. Yeah. <sighs> a lot. If I could tidal wave one more time or use a level 3 magic missile. 18 plus 8. I would do a level 3 mm-hmm. missile. Because it's missile. a guaranteed hit. Mm-hmm. And if things Natural 20. Ridiculous okay. fucking critical. Yeah. Were neither of those reckless attack? They were all reckless attack both. So you got an attack. Jesus. Learn how to roll in a tray. You double, you double the second attack because that was a critical. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so fourteen plus eight. Eight double the sixteen. I did the seven oh. for the first one. I was like, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Thirty-eight points of damage. Cleaving <laughs> right off. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's go okay. For it. Okay. okay. There's one head left. Two more hit die. Okay. Get these things the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm tired of them. I'm, I'm. I'm really trying. They were cool and gimmick at first, and now I'm mad. <laughs> Oh my god. 18. Take them Third head, cleave right off. Yeah. Its torso yeah. like rides as all three heads <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> it is killed. Yeah, right. one thing left. Just one leg? No, we have a, a whole dude left oh. with <laughs> uh, no, a whole dude, another leg, another head, and two legs. No, both of the heads are No, gone. it's both just the, the reformed, heads are it's dead. Just it's, the reformed guy. It's just the reformed guy. Yeah. I think I, there's three heads. I killed yeah. one last round, yeah, one and then one. I just knocked out the other two. Yeah. This round. Um, <laughs> how many enemies total? It's <laughs> one. Okay. Um, yeah, magic missile at third level. Uh, which Aim limb do you want to go for? Yeah. yeah. Which? Oh, so there's one guy. There's yes. one guy. One guy yes. with... Uh, I blasted. How many of his limbs did I blast? Because remember, you can also Just split one, up your magic missiles as well. Yeah. Keep that. I think I got his yeah. arm. I think I got both of his arms. I've lost track at this point, so we'll go, yeah. Okay, I got both of his arms. So he's got, <laughs> so he got a torso and two legs. I can't believe I took down about that. Alright, um. That paladin did yeah. fucking. Nothing. Nothing! Yeah. I'll use subtle spell again, because I like arm. Um, magic missile at third level. 
Okay. Um, yeah, so that's five darts. Okay. So. No. You can do them separately on separate yeah. limbs. Three to three to one leg, two to the other. Three to one leg, two to the other. Yeah. Two to the. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, that works. That works. That works. May I get two more d4, please? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Alrighty. Come on, Mariah. Come on, baby girl. Can I get big damage this time, or what? Please. Frick it up. Probably should have rolled separate die for the. Difference. That's fine. Just choose. Okay. So. Was one of its legs damaged or not? I don't remember. No. Okay. I could not recall. One, two, three, four, five, and then it's plus one for each one. You want to make sure you like actually kill one if you can. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's just gonna reform. Yeah. So go big damage on one, if possible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a too. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would love it if ten to one of them. Gone. No more legs. Cool. And then two, three, four, five to the other one. Okay. Okay. And Sorry, it has one leg and then torso head. There you go. Thank you. And, and then, then I, yeah, the yep, I got my arm. Let's fucking go. Kill it. Yeah. Get this thing the fuck out of here. Christmas saving throw. Yep. Pass 14. One. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and because it failed, it deals extra damage. It was so funny. I it funnier. <laughs> Stomach <laughs> asshole. <laughs> hey, what's in eight days? Listen, <laughs> I could not show up. <laughs> Remind here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show up just early. Just leave the door unlocked in his ear. You're gonna be taking a nap, and during the before the session, I'm gonna just you're gonna wake up to me in like some fucking machina, just completely dark, but my eyes are glowing. Oh god. <laughs> and you just. Oh. <laughs> it's the Yelena from Attack on Titan. You're <laughs> you better hope that I don't split it to separate <laughs> What are you doing? Alright, um, so, so you need six damage. One of the legs was destroyed, and then. Yep. And then you damaged another. Yeah. And then damaged another. Go after that fucking leg. Yeah. Yeah. The arms are gonna go for that last leg. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll fucking kill it. 11, 12? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 12 psychic. Whoosh! <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Easy. Drove it into the earth. Hell yeah. It is a torso and head now. All right. Okay. Paladin's turn. Team torso killer. Do something! <laughs> but my, my friend. I need mean, like you a weird away from each other. fucking <laughs> with me. May I remind you can fudge rolls as a deer? I fudge so. roll frequently. Okay. I try not to. Runs over, off. takes his mace, smashes it straight into the head of this thing. Uh, its torso is still alive, though. He missed all of his other attacks. <laughs> Fuck it, pussy boys. God damn. Gnome's Andrew. turn. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. I am. And he's frozen. The gnome's still frozen in fear. Doesn't do anything. Oh my god! Are you fucking fuck? serious? What's the purpose of this fucking? I thought he like saved his fucking thing before. His wisdom saving throw? Yeah, I thought he saved it at one point, and then he started running. Saved it once. Yeah. So when did he get frightened? scared again? Huh? When did he get scared again? Just now. I, I hate, hate this thing. I I want to kill him. The ditch digger is about to fucking come out because of this stupid fucking gnome. Okay. Torso's turn. Just gonna attack you, Macau. Come on, me. It doesn't. Your no. turn. <laughs> it's just a torso and a leg? It's just a torso. Mm. It's just the fucking torso. It is just. Is there a head cavity or a neck cavity? Yeah. <laughs> I want to rip it apart. Yeah, I want to fucking Mortal Kombat this shit. Fucking kill it. That's cocked. That was really cocked. Oh, I didn't add any d4. 16. 
He hits. Don't bless me. I forget. 11 points of damage. Gone. <laughs> you rip that thing open, and it is destroyed. So and a black, gone. messy heap of nastiness. Okay. I'm... The dragonborn paladin just... <laughs> Like goes on these slides over the gnome and just knock off. Are you okay? Oh, okay. Ah, come, 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 come. Let us get you to the sanctum. And he like picks up the gnome in both arms um, and then just you, you five. Thank you, thank you. Please come, follow me. And he just begins running. You better fucking heal him. He has the ability to. Um, yes, let's yeah. go. Let's follow this Do guy. Ha- they didn't fucking do anything. I put my shirt back on. <laughs> they didn't. Who cares? <laughs> we did what we could to aid them, even if they struggled through the fight. Let's go. Okay, so you guys follow uh, these two towards the inner walls. Um, as they uh, make their way there and you guys approach the walls, uh, you would see um, one more of these massive creatures with three heads and a small group of these other creatures, um, all su- like not surrounding, but have all grouped up in like a horde and is trying to like break down the inner walls. There are archers on these like ramparts just shooting down at them, volleys of arrows. Um, and then all of a sudden you hear um, all these creatures and the big three-headed one look down um, behind them and they all kind of back away from the wall. You just hear all this like chittering, just I, 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 the master, master. And you see uh, like all of them just like bow their heads as they like back up. Um, uh, The big creature like bows its head and then like retreats back. Um, You see coming from like the debris of some of these houses, a very familiar face. This one's very hard to forget because his clothing as well is very colorful. Walking out from like debris and smoke, you see the clown that you guys fought. Carrying his scythe, covering one half of his face. He steps out and all these creatures like bow as he um, just like nods at them. Um, as he begins like walking up towards the the wall you see him about to like announce something and then he just looks over and sees you ah that's what he said you know we were warned that you might be skittering your way over here how Fascinating that you're able to get here in such a short amount of time. I thought I'd have more time to play, honestly. <sighs> well, looks like we'll have to come back another day. How about we cut this short? We kicked your ass once, do this a fucking favor, and kill yourself for us. Yes. <laughs> make, just... make an yeah. intimidation check. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. you! <laughs> Intimidation. Oh. Why do I have Please. to roll? 15. Hey! Hey! You see him like take a step back and just like look shocked and just. Hmm. I'll think on it! Hmm. Think really think hard. harder! Maybe you'll do it! Takes a step back and then um, right before you, you just an arrow. <laughs> One of the big arrows you saw so long ago just plant right in front of your feet. Not now, Tothnil. Another time. We'll have your chance. Tothnil? My black limb friends, we're leaving. Master, of course. All of them retreat back into the town and you hear them skitter away. The clown looks back at you, just like, takes a bow. 
We'll be back. Much larger forces. I'll be seeing you again, Rift Seekers. A pleasure as always. And he turns around and leaves. Hey, clown fuck! Doesn't respond. Give Kasek a smooch for me! Doesn't say anything as he walks away. You cock! <laughs> uh, the dragonborn holding the gnome. <sighs> Thank you for your help. Please, help me get into the grove. We must get inside. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What's up there? Come, you'll be safe. Please. Fuck, I can't find you. All right, you guys head over to the gates of the inner sanctum where they open up and let you in. Uh, you see this is uh, almost like a small druid's grove, what it looks like. That um, steel looking tree in the middle is surrounded um, by like grass and flowers. Um, and then the rest of it is kind of like cobblestone pavement around it. Um, you see that the rest of the survivors from this attack are held up here, um, as well as like the rest of the city guards. Um, you see the dragonborn uh, gets the gnome druid inside and then hands him off to what appears to be like another healer. Um, and he just kind of like takes a deep breath and just like slumps down on like a bench nearby and just like puts his hands on his face. He hands it off to a healer as a paladin who can fucking heal. What is this paladin? Can I just walk down and say what the fuck is that? No. Please? No. We, Why? Can we just help these people? Yeah. Let's not fucking antagonize them. They're useless. They're useless. Yes, I understand they were useless, but we don't need to cause problems yeah. when they can help us. Yeah. Ah. We're in good graces right now. We need to, we're in our good graces, we need to stay there. <sighs> We're the Rift Seekers, we gotta like do some good stuff, I guess. I literally just took them and they have to serve that. I was like, fucking okay, next question. Not checking. Toth Nil? Mm hmm. Okay. I just wanted to check. Toth Nil. T O T H N I L L? Uh, one less L. Ooh. Close. Let's uh, go. I would not have gotten that. Let's fucking go. All of my notes are like, oh yeah, you know, it's pretty hard. The clown is here! <laughs> it's just Vita! The horse is here! <laughs> That's what that is. I have the fucking clown is back. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, approach the paladin. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. you go ahead and approach. Hey, how are you holding up? Doing all right? Oh! Thank you, my friend. And he like stands up and you see he's just like holding his gut as he stands up and just, mm. uh, you really saved me back there. I cannot, I cannot thank you enough. Ugh, what am I meant this? I am Brom, Brom Aron. I am the uh, leader of the Ironwood Watchers here in Nasal. Oh my God, so much to write. Ironwood Watchers? Yes. In where? Nasal. N A E S L. And what's his name? Sorry? Brom, Brom. Aron. B R O N. B R A H M. Okay. A R A N. What the <laughs> fuck am I doing? <sighs> All right. Brom. Sure, Brom. <laughs> a R A N. Yes. I'll run. If it wasn't for you, I would have not have been able to get Paul and Nicola back here. Hi. What did they want? Hmm? What did they want with him? Well, uh, it's a... Uh, quite a long story, but to make it short, Nicola over there is the last Ironwood protector. This tree here is the last ironwood tree. Its wood and bark are stronger than steel. Most of the town is made from this. My armor and shield are so too made from this wood. You see, these black limb demons, they've attacked us before, not in my lifetime. 
But it, it appears they've made a... They've resurfaced. And now are attacking our town once again. As revenge or... I don't know. I, it's been a long past few days. I have all but made myself powerless today. We've been attacked ever since this morning. I was defenseless. I couldn't do anything. I said if it wasn't for you, Five, I would have died and so would Nakoa and so would the Ironwood Tree. All would have been lost. So I am in your debt. I, uh, what is your name? I'm Eve. Eve. Pleasure. Dara. Dara. Born and... Thank you. That's Ambrose. Ah, he's thank the, he's you. He's in my pocket. <laughs> Where's Jake? In my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I am in your debt, and so are the rest of the Ironwood Watchers. All of us, most of the town was slain by these demons. Our Reeve has perished and leaves me in charge, and... <laughs> As much as I like to think of myself as a great and noble leader, I can only do so much before, you know, huh. and I have to watch over uh, the last of our druids over here. That is the whole purpose of the Ironwood Watchers. Uh, if, if, if we got the cool name too. We got, we got one of those. We're the, we're the Rift Seekers. Well, thank you, Rift Seekers. Yeah, that feels Thank good. you. And he like, he like gets down on his knees and just like does a deep bow to you. Okay. It's not necessary. Um, Ironwood tree. Obviously, besides the practical applications of it's incredibly strong, any idea what they wanted it for? The uh, clown-looking one and his weird armored friend. Yeah. They they said they were sent here by uh, oh, what was his name? Uh. Am- Ambrister, yeah. yes. Ambrister. They were, yes, that's the name. Um, were sent here to retrieve the heart of the Ironwood. And why would they want the heart? What does it do? The heart of the Ironwood is a special relic that all ironwood trees used to have. The heart, if you are worthy enough, can wield it. And different items that you have on you become indestructible. So I'm assuming that they want this heart for uh, Mr. Ambrister so that he can make certain things Indestructible? That's the only theory I can come up with, but I'm not a smart dragon boy. I mean, no, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Uh, well, that, does, out. that does make a lot of Checks sense. out with that maniac. I have a question. Does the... Right. Does the heart of the Iron Book, hmm. does it have, like, a moral compass? Just out of curiosity, or is it just kind of free for all? Didn't he say worthy? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Yes, it is those who are worthy, as mm-hmm. you have to be chosen. And then he gestures towards Nakoa is laying down. Must be chosen by one of the druids who acknowledge you as worthy. So if they just took it. If they the took druids. Nakoa, then there would be no chance for us to one, defend the Ironwood, or two, stop them from getting the heart. And Nakoa, the, the Poor soul is uh, very frightened, a very frightened, timid individual. Um, he was being mentored for so long, and then, well, now he's the last one, and he has a lot of pressure on him, a burden to carry, and uh, it is his and his alone now. And so, not only does he need to survive, but is to uphold the task of the druids. So it is a lot for a small one like himself. But I know that deep within inside him he is 
Strong lad. Oh yes, quite. I've got a big hypothetical question here. You're just gonna have to bear with me. Please, I enjoy hypotheticals. The heart. Hey. Say that there is a wall that needs to be protected. Does it have to be a person? Or could you put it in a wall and make mm-hmm. it more indestructible? Well, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm sure one of our elder druids would have known, but uh, I do not. It is a certain things you can make indestructible. Um, I suppose if you put it in wall, it could be indestructible, but it is... Uh, the heart does have its own sort of uh, sentience, I suppose you could say. So... Oh. I don't like non-sentient items becoming sentient. Okay, um, any, any chance that Naoko would know? Nakoa? Nakoa. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Nakoa did grow up with the druids. I'm sure he would have heard stories, uh, myths, legends, rumors, whatever. I suppose you can ask him, but um, I'm not sure if he's up to talking, but you're more than welcome to try. Okay, another question. Can I touch the tree? Sure. Fuck it. I will not, I will not stop. You have saved me. You have saved all of us. By bringing Nakoa back here. So, um, you're more than welcome to touch the Ironwood tree. I I don't know why you would want to, but... Prayer. Uh, oh, you are a holy man, a yes? He, he is a holy man. I... A holy nature guy. Ah, I Do see. Do you have any idea who uh, this one belo- belongs to? Agriculture? Is this like a natural tree, or is this like some voodoo bullshit? You know, long which day. of your 39 Are you gods? asking him or you want to yeah. make a check? Oh. Which of your 39 oh. gods is into voodoo? Uh, I don't have a voodoo god. That'd be kind of cool, though. Something inspired by that. Progenitor god. Voodoo god. Um, like, oh. I think so. Uh, the tree? No. It is. What? Is it like maybe agriculture to call? Kilophane Kilo. Asunta. Are these oh. three gods here? Sure. Many of them. That yes. It's easier. I'll just pray to all of them. Understood. Religion check. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit over there. I'm gonna ring out my uh, holy symbol. Why? Shh. <laughs> this is a holy place. Do you want me to go talk to Nicole? You can. Okay, bye. Alright. Hand on the thing. One, one hand with this. Hand on the tree? Yeah. Advantage on your religion check. There you go. Huzzah! Yes, my religion is not. Yeah, I may not need it. It was both really good rolls. However, that is a total of 21. Yeah, okay. And what are you trying to. Are you just trying to contact a god or what are you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of whoever might have answers. What an- what question do you have? The wall. Can I make it invincible? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hello? I want to know what the fucking rules of this heart are. Essentially. Can one of us sure. get, like, wood on and stuff? I think I'm <laughs> this is for a good fucking cause. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Why did you log me out, please? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, as you are resting your hand upon the tree and you pray to these gods, um, the ground around you, you'd feel it begin to like shift and move. It moves underneath you, kind of feel the presence of a strong figure. And then um, appearing from like underneath you, you just kind of see like a rock form and then two eyes just What up, dog? And he just kind of like looks up at you. Kilo has just appeared 
as just a like rock that sprouts up from the ground. Baby. And then uh, Baby. So, Baby. one of Baby the uh, flowers on the ground near you begins to grow and spiral and vines begin to uh, come out making a humanoid shape and then Asunta is formed. Jesus. And she stands before you and just like nods towards you, gives you a, a smile and then Kilo well, oh, sister, I did not expect you to come here. Uh, <laughs> she turns around and goes, Kilo, it is good to see you again. Mm. Likewise, likewise. Hello, Dara. It is an honor to have not one, but two. Asunta, uh, our presence here in Nasal is strong, especially because of this little one. Yeah. And she points to the ironwood tree. What can we do for you, Dara? Oh, I got a big if of a question. Mm. I don't know what you've heard. Uh, I don't know where you guys are at in your decision from what I last heard from the prior conversation. Amber Sukuri does not like wall. We are aware. If you were to bring the heart of the ironwood to that wall, could it protect it? They both like look at each other and like cock an eyebrow. The heart of the ironwood tree is only as strong as its wielder. Could you, Dara, make the wall of Uselia indestructible? made a wall indestructible, but I'm goddamn thick, so. <laughs> I've never made a wall invisible, but I'm goddamn thick. Write that down, write that down. If you believe it can be done, Dara, within your heart of hearts, then the heart of the ironwood tree would make it so. Oh, fuck, you still real, Dara. However, you are a druid. We recognize this. We recognize the life energy that surrounds you. You are not a druid of the Ironwood Tree. That one would be Nikoa. Right. Only Nikoa could wield or grant someone the ability to wield it. It's not us nor the tree that you would have to please or worship, it would be little Nakoa. I'm not worried about getting his approval is feasible. It's just I needed to make sure this was even a doable thing, which is why I'm here. Because at this point, the fate of the realm stands at our, at our grasp. Yes. But, fear not, even though we are not stepping in as of yet, one of you is being watched over by ones higher than us. So I've heard it. You are in good graces. deity on our hands, but goodness, these hmm. fights are trying. Yes, we are aware, but you have grown stronger too, Dara. <laughs> you all have grown quite strong from when I first saw you in that small village. And I see you've taken good care of my plant. The room has taken good care of us, and that's for certain as well. As she has. I'm just 
just didn't fare because we have grown stronger than some of our enemies. Hmm. I have faith in us. As do we. I am the gro goddess of growth in agriculture, and I have seen you grow significantly. In a mere... Month. <laughs> not even a month. Look at you now. You should be proud of yourself. Proud of those you walk with. I feel nothing but pride. It's just... Every step is so... Uh, trying. Yes. If it wasn't, how could you grow? Oh, I agree. Then I suppose I should speak to Nakoa and see what he has to say. See if we can't see. stop a wall from falling. And the God of Madness. Yes, I would not like to see him. So if you could do that, that would be great. Final, I'm going to go take a nap. Final question. As he's like, he begins to like turn and like sink back into the ground and he just... <laughs> and I already don't have an answer for this, but there's a chance you guys know we may be lost to time though. What was his name? They both look at each other and look back to you. We have agreed not to speak his name. Spell it! <laughs> I see. Only runes of old might still have his name written. But to all of us, he is a trosel. Unfortunately, that's what he will always be. I would not wish what has happened to him upon any deity, nor any mortal on this biosphere. Well, he, he definitely tried something insane. Yes, and it costed him everything. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what you get when you try to eat a tear in the fabric of reality. Mm. Yeah. You try something and say you lose your sanity. Yep. Anyways, I've been awake for too long. I'm gonna go find a nice, cool underground location. What an old fool. No, I, I kinda get it. I, I'd like to take a nap in an underground cave peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matsunta. Of course. For your blessings. Of course, Terra. I hope the next time I see you. You will all have grown into something brighter. Hmm. Well, the light still shines bright. It it's does. a bit muddy at the moment. <laughs> I will take my leave now. Thank you. She begins to like descend and you see like her humanoid form become like vines that um, shrink down into the flower. <sighs> Ah. Ah, is so cool. <laughs> you know how painful it is sometimes to play Macau because one, he doesn't give a fuck about like anything. And two, he, he's not involved in God shit. Then I'm over here like, <laughs> like I get gods, so gods, excited gods, gods. every single time. And then I'm like, I can't care. I can't say I anything. I can't say anything <laughs> because I can't care. Um, while that's going on, I'd be going over to Nicola. <laughs> Okay. No, not knowing anything that was just discussed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pause. I'll, I guess I'll tag along. I'm not really. I'm not really so serious. Oh, okay.
That was sick as hell. <laughs> Nakoa right now is kind of like off in a corner laying on a cot. There seems to be a dragonborn uh, healer or cleric of some sort standing over him, uh, heals him, and then kind of just like um, rests her hand over his forehead and then like puts a washcloth over it and then just kind of like make sure he's comfortable before like stepping away. And you just see him just kind of like laying there, eyes wide and just kind of like trying to like take a deep breath in just... Start walking over there very gung ho. Like, all right, I'm gonna go talk to this fucker. And I see the situation, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. And then as I get closer, I'm like, <sighs> and I walk over more slowly. Hey, uh, Nicole? Right? Yeah. I won't ask you if you're good. Thank you. I'm not. I, that, hey, that's what I've been asking. Um, so, you lived. That's awesome. Mm, is it? It is. I don't know. Maybe if I just wasn't here, it would be so much easier for everyone. I'm not the kind of person you want to say that shit to. I'm not looking for sympathy. I won't give it. Good. You've, you've got a lot of responsibility riding on you from what I've heard. And, uh, <sighs> told you I wouldn't give you any sympathy, so I'm not going to apologize. Um, do you know if the heart of the Ironwood could be utilized to make a big wall super no touchy? I... If you don't, that's fine. I... It's a possibility, from what I've been told. Usually the one who <clears throat> wields the heart it can make things that they carry on them indestructible. I, I've heard other arch druids make it so their clothing can't be destroyed or, or certain magical item that they have i've i've even heard that a magical item that is destroyed after being used with the heart it just won't i'm not certain how true that is but it happened a long time ago apparently that's what the elders say said <laughs> You, you, you saw big, big boy back there, right? The red-headed guy? Mm-hmm. Think he could manage it? I don't... I don't know. Just because you're big and strong doesn't mean you can wield it. That makes sense. The heart of the Ironwood, it looks within. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm the druid of the Ironwood, and I can't, I can't, I can't get to it. You see, he just begins to tear up and starts to, like, tear stream down his face. I, he expects me to be able to protect it. He, ex he expects so much of me, and I, I can't. For all my time that I've been a druid, I just... I kept still learning so much, and now everyone's gone. And I have no one left to teach me anything. I'm not... prepared. How long have you been being mentored for? Years. Years now. Okay. I... From a young age, I was... Mentored by the druids. Mm -hmm. And I still can't. But 
We don't know nothing. I don't know it. All of it. I don't know what the elders knew. It's it's all lost now. So you know what you get to do? You get to do one of the coolest things that anybody can do. And what's that? You get to figure the fuck out. And it's God all game. by myself? No, not by yourself. What's what's bra that guy? Mm-hmm. You got him. Prom's not a druid. Doesn't matter. My thing is punching people real hard. That's my thing. Okay? Okay. That is my... Frankly, Nakoa, that's my one skill. Is hitting people super good. I would not have lived this long if I didn't have spell slinger back there. Two spell slingers back there, actually. Um... A, uh, another guy that hits real good, but very sharply. Um, and then uh, a guy who can now like turn into a wolf and also keeps us alive and talks to gods a concerning amount of times with ease. Um, it's freaking out. Some people have that connection. Yeah, he's got it. What I'm saying, you might be the only tree guy left around here, okay? Which, not, doesn't feel good, I can imagine. But, you're not by yourself. And you get to have the ego boost of figuring it out and being the druid of Nasal. How but, fucking cool is that? <laughs> but... I... What if I can't live up to what the elders and my mentors did? They were so much... They had so much power. They had so much knowledge. How long were, how long were they the elders, huh? How long? As far as I can remember. Okay, so since you started training and being mentored by them, mm -hmm. so they were probably just like you when they started out. They were probably tiny little scrawny fucks who. <laughs> he just like he just like looks at himself and he's he's a, he's a gnome. He's a, like he's got a pretty thin build too, and he I just like I didn't mean it like that. I just mean that they were probably just regular guys. Okay, who, who, they were probably scared too. They were probably terrified. Sure, they had each other and you know there was more going on, but what I'm saying is you, Nakawa, had all of those elders. So, you got a good framework, good foundation to build off of. Mm. And you, and I know that it can feel like heavy expectations because there's all these people in the village that are expecting things of you and placing that weight on your shoulders, right? Don't look at it like that. They don't expect anything from you. They're not anticipating anything. They believe that you can do it. And they believe in you as the druid in Mesa. And so, you can't do all of this now. But later, you will. And I know this sounds kind of nihilistic. But you will succeed because you have no other option. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing because you're going to do it. But I almost died in the... The battle, I mean, I couldn't do anything. Yet. And I was... If it wasn't for you, I would have just ceased to exist. And so would the Ironwood. Yeah, but here you are. You seem kind of like, look off for a second and like... Like pondering like what 
everything that you've been saying. I'll continue trying. That's all anyone can do. I'm just so scared of failing. Because if I fail, all of this is for nothing. Everything that the elders did would be for nothing. The war they fought to protect the Ironwood would have been for nothing because I wasn't capable of it. Then prove yourself wrong. Okay. I'll try. Stick it to the man and you are the man, so stick it to yourself and do it. Stick what? You. <laughs> to try to fight. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, just a metaphor. It's, it's a phrase. It's a. I'll, I'll stick it to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know why? You know why you're gonna you're gonna prove yourself wrong? Hmm. Because you said you can. You said you will. Not because of anybody else, but because of you. Okay. Thank you. Good talk. Hydrate. <laughs> Hydrate. I can. I'd like to go speak to him as well. Okay. Macau just walks back. Maybe. Don't have faith. Sick. Yeah, I'd like to go in and speak to him as well. Oh, he's okay. so okay. You seem like so taking take a drink of water from like a bowl that he has, and he like looks at you and just walk up and just. Hey, pal. What if I sit for a moment? Sure. Why not? Thanks. I'm just gonna sit cross-legged on the ground. Okay. No. No, those legs don't cross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I sit down on the ground. Understood. Uh, you're you're Nicole, right? That's me. The druid of the island. The last one. The last the protector. I'm a druid myself. And a cleric. Really? Yeah. yeah apologies. If... You know. Yeah, I saw. Uh, Which one communed? Have you like, ever... No, I wish I was this. Got a lot of knowledge all up in here, and none of it since the right of... <laughs> you know? Yeah. I... I know. Have you ever sat down to commune with the tree itself or with the gods? Yes. What successes have you reached? None. No. I have tried. That's... It's not easy. You just said you did it. <laughs> I've had practice. So have I. Unfortunately, I've been selected for a purpose. I and wish now, I was. We'll see. That's the fun part, buddy. You haven't seen it yet, but you are. You stand here, having fought in a fray, lived to tell the tale, in a war to protect the island. Oh my, me. Out of all of them, I'm the least worthy to do any of this. You say that now. If I've learned anything, it's those who survive despite feeling the weakest that stand tall to be the strongest. I have lost much in my time. I say that like I'm some old man. <laughs> Compared to you, I'm pretty sure you're older than me. 
Hmm. Maybe a little bit. But for a human, I've lived almost half of my lifespan. I got married. I learned how to make leather. I thought that was going to be it. Unfortunately, life had other plans. I lost my life. And with that, I had to find a new purpose. Find a new goal. How? I got up. And I said to myself, this isn't the place. Home is where I'm going to return. Home is the final destination. But first, I have to refine myself. And so I set out on a journey. You could call it self-discovery, but that favorite phrase is a little bit old and outdated. It doesn't mean what it should. So I went to the missed ones. <laughs> as odd as that sounds. I communed with the people there. I found gods who were willing to take my name, I now bear my wife's necklace as my holy symbol. Wow. And then I found more power in the earth itself. And I was no one. You started as a druid. You got a head start. You may not feel like it, but you age slower than I do. You've got a little bit more time. Hmm. What I'm trying to say here is, while it may not feel like you're strong now, time itself always stands the tale of how long you're going to live. And the more challenges you face, the longer and the better your odds are. It's a long-winded explanation, I know. <laughs> but more than anything, what I'm trying to lead to is, I was just speaking to Atsunta and Kiba. And if anything, if I gained anything from what they said, it's that you are capable of wielding this power. There was no wavering in their voice. There was no, he might be able to. They said you can. The gods of the land and of the light of nature itself, essentially, are the ones telling you that you can do it. The voice in your head, because I've got one too that tells you, you can't do this. <laughs> you compare that to the voice of gods. Who's going to be louder? Who's going to be right? Hmm. The voice in my head is pretty loud. <laughs> You're telling me. I thought that I was going to lose someone there. In that fight, I was not ready. If they say in the one that I am able to do it, then why... Why haven't I been able to? Oh, what have I been doing wrong? You may not know that you've done anything wrong. Sometimes people need a catalyst. Mine was my wife, and this may be yours. Um, how much do you know about the Iron Wood? What have you learned? If, if, if you can even share. I know it's... Kind of your circles, the thing. Maybe that be something you want to share. That's okay. I know a lot about the Ironwood. Okay. The hearts of the Ironwood. I know there used to be so many more. But. Do we know how to repopulate them? You can't. Damn. Well, that's that's why this was the last one. That makes sense. <clears throat> 
Please. <laughs> Please. Please. There we go. Please. The Brookbond Forest used to be full of vinewood trees just like this one. Mm -hmm. But one of the arch druids whose task was to protect the ironwood sought to use the wood as weapons. Interesting. To, to destroy all of it. Take it for himself so that no one else may use it. Enemies, allies, druids, nobody. That's not far away. He lusted for power. It corrupted his mind. He sought a pact with the Queen of the Black Limbs. He commanded the army of those creatures that you saw. He marched through the Brookbond Forest, destroying all of the Ironwood trees. The Druids and the Ironwood Watchers, they banded together. They fought against the Arch Druid, and they were successful. They were only able to save this one, though. After they defeated the Arch Druid, the Black Limb Demons retreated back into the Abyss. And now they're back. And I'm the last of the druids. These trees are strong. But if the heart is ripped out, if the tree is destroyed, there will be nothing left. No chance of it coming back or regrowing. As long as I got something we need to protect. Yes. Okay. Well, that's one mighty task. Yeah. I, I think, and as he's about to speak up, uh, you hear a voice uh, boom out. It's a, another dragonborn and goes, Brom, we're doing a meeting. We need all captains, please. Um, and Brom, who is with like the rest of the um, new team, just kind of like stands up and goes, <clears throat> um, Real Seekers, I would be honored if you would join me. I um, I think I might have a plan as to what to do about these demons and hopefully... <sighs> I want to go on the offensive. With what you have done, yes. I think you would be great allies to have beside me. However, we would need to argue our case against the other captains, because I know this is not something they'd want to do. Do we get the fuck up the clown? If we do, I if mean... They, if they say yes? Uh, um, on the clown. I'm assuming that this clown is what is leading them, as yes, to yes. what we saw, yes. so uh, yes. Double dibs on the clown. Double... This is the second time seeing the spot and we already thought that we killed him once. Okay. Yeah. So, how I can did? see you have some uh, prior... Beef. Yes. Um, we bought... Should I say that? No. So, if you could join me, please, I would, again, I'd be very honored. Yeah, why not? Uh, do we have to do uh, public speaking? Uh, no, you just have to speak with against the captains. That is all. Thank God. So, you if you would please follow me. You down? I'm not gonna say no. Okay. Yeah. An are ally you, is an ally. Are you feeling God pole? Yes. This <laughs> <laughs> makes a little anxious. I don't know how much time I have to get to that one town. Is this With not? Is this the town? 
This is probably... That's the artifact, is the heart! Hey, Mirage, I just solved your god mystery! We don't know that. The cow hey, knows it! <laughs> I know! <laughs> I think it's... Because Listen remember... Because didn't you say that the gods were telling you an, an agent of Everster was getting sent here to fuck with stuff and there was yeah. an artifact and they said that the heart was the other... I have cracked the case! You are very probably correct. <laughs> you could also just ask them. I'll communicate. Yeah. I was at the end was, of the day, <laughs> I was gonna commune with the blooming gods just to confirm. I'm gonna be honest here. No offense to the blooming gods here. Not fucking necessary. For one reason, it's got to be. It, Even if it's not. Yeah. This is still kicking Amberster Curie in the fucking nuts. Yes. Because it. Well, I guess stopping him is the ultimate goal after yes. all. Yes. <laughs> Artifact or not. Because I'm like, the clown fuck worked with Kasek, and then Kasek's also fucking working with Amistad Curie. Yeah. So, we still he's don't one know of that. his fucking goons, and we're Maybe. here to fuck them up. Oh, wait. Therefore, by getting the, oh. the fucking... <laughs> by getting the heart of the tree, <laughs> we're going to take the from the plants. Yeah. I hate this motherfucker. He's great. Kill him. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper! <laughs> red dog. I'm not saying a red dog. Please! Wait, wait, wait. One of the viewers is just a sniper. <laughs> Through the camera. It is. It's so Paulson it. standing on the roof, so whatever you call it. It's fucking Paulson. But yes, I, I think I've cracked the case. If I'm wrong, strike me down. No, we're here. Let's oh, take the cloud chance. start forming. <laughs> <laughs> Toro Eka. No one is striking any of us down. <laughs> Good. Mm. I don't need that. Let's take our chances. Let's hear them out. Yes, okay. Let's do this. Fuck I'll need now. Thank you all. We're on our way. I am bringing guests. I just want to heal you guys. And we'll sleep. That is where we'll end today's session. Ah! And so. The Rift Seekers successfully drove off the Blackland demons from Nasal. They discovered that the demons are being led by none other than the clown they had met when traveling to Lothmanger. The clown, under Amberster Curie's command, has been attempting to seize the town's sacred treasure, the heart of the last ironwood tree. With the Rift Seekers help though, the town may now be able to fight back against the Blacklimb demons and finally rid them of the biosphere, once and for all. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend, and goodbye for now.